again. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Is that person out there? Yeah. Ever. This is great voice acting already. Yeah. Um. Never. Ever. <laughs> so you can end the game right here? This is like the beginning, the vo void of no personality yet. Huh. So the ancient reptilian brain's trying to get you to just give up? And an audience no matter how time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. <laughs> this is great. Give me some more. What was that about the X something? What was that about the Yeah. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful, a pool of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. So it's becoming aware of your body and your conscious, like the, becoming existential suddenly. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll go back. There. <laughs> this is so cool! No light in the formless nothing. Just night swimming. I like nothing. <laughs> I like nothing. <laughs> I only like nothing if I don't know there's something. If I don't know there's something, that's this is cool. Nothing can... How we cough up more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth <laughs> passage. This is awesome. Allons-y! <laughs> Was there French involved? Because in the, the beginning, yeah. making the character, there's quite a bit of French. I want to get off now. I like the pain and burning light of wanting things from people and who don't want to give them to me. Let's go. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Bara. <laughs> I'll return ship to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient zero. Look, there's, I am tired of being this type of animal and who gives a shit. This voice is daddy. <laughs> I want to know what Zero Home is. Great choice, Elder One. It has always been like this, and it always will. <laughs> this is real nihilistic. Don't stop, keep singing, sing me a song of death. I need to belittle myself now. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, oh, bloated no. man meet around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. This voice tickles inside my body. Yeah, it's great. It's so it's incredible. great. And like the music in the background, just like the ambient sort of thing. I've heard there's just an insane amount of voice acting in it. Yeah, so they was, were was it actually translated into like it looks All like those there's languages? Eight That's different insane. languages. Or is it just English voice acting with sub changing the text? Yeah. But um, this reminds me of how there is an AI company right now that has actually just created a plugin for the Unreal Engine. It's like integrated. I was a beta tester before where it people I think I've talked about this before on the show. Mm. You say sentences, it tells you to read some sentences, and it, like, after about, like, you have to invest, like, a half hour kind of doing a bunch of different sentences, and then it synthesizes your voice. It can, to like, recreate anything. your voice to say anything, like, just like you. Um, and it's it's got a little bit of, like, audio artifact. Like, it's getting better all the time. There will be a time where that stuff, it's already being integrated in games, but it's going to get so good 
a guy, this voice actor, will be able to like make his amazing voice recreated, and then you'll have people being able to write endless amounts of stuff that's dynamically created, change swap out your name or man meat to woman meat and stuff, so that he doesn't have to like re-record, like spend all that time in the studio, and it's gonna do that. It's gonna be amazing, and then they'll apply it to 3D acted characters who actually mouth those things dynamically based on story. I want to go home. It's so cool. The it's going to make games are going to be incredible. <laughs> you can take it. They already You're are. You're a champion. <laughs> Mother help me, there's a head to touch my neck and I'm in it. <laughs> so volition, medium success. Does this mean that my volition is telling me I have succeeded in whatever just happened, or is it saying that what is about, what my choice next is a succeed or fail choice, and yeah, my volition will yeah. decide whether I succeed or not? Retro Chris just Googled, and it's been translated in French, German, and Russian. That's wow. crazy. Um, uh, the well, game rolled a check for volition and you succeeded, so it talked. But at the same time, it'd be less work for voice actors. No, 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 the system's gonna have monetization. When you you can buy a voice and the voice actor gets paid. Yeah. He'll be able to get more work than he ever could actually acting. That's the cool thing. Like, he'll be able to sell his voice and do more jobs than he could ever take. Anyways, uh, mother help me, there's a head attachment. Okay, stop, I don't wanna hear anything more about the sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. You can... Uh, mouse over the, the success to see the breakdown, but not sure how to do that. Oh, like go up? I can't. Mm, okay. Um, if I were in this situation, I would want to stay asleep. <laughs> I very much would rather. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. All right, help someone cut up, cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest <laughs> of me. Who am I? What kind of creature does this to their own mouth? <laughs> I'm gonna go with one. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. No! It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. Simba. A caprice can name a motor carriage. That's all I heard. <laughs> this is a great painterly look. Mm-hmm. Oh, that good. So down at the bottom left, I have this weird, um... Ah, uh, like, yeah, you guys can't see it. ...formless visage that, like, maybe is formless because I'm still crafting my personality at this stage of the game. There's two notches of orange and four... Five no. notches of blue, mm -hmm. and they're all full. So can I pick these things? Uh, oh, there we go. This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Oh. Why is the X way over there on the bathtub? Oh, you can cycle oh, them by doing this. Okay. Oh, and there's X's appearing outside. And then X's on things that weren't even indicated. I guess I'll take the shoes. Green shoe, left foot. <laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. On this. Mm. This real to real tape player is still on, rolling empty. So somebody ripped it out. I guess that was probably us. We were listening to something we didn't like. Pants? Nah. Poor pants. There's a tie on the um, ceiling fan. Oh, yeah. There was more stuff in there. Shirt, too. I wouldn't mind that. Is that a, a bra? 
Like massive? I don't think so. <laughs> My a guess is no. hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Do you guys want more juice from these awesome voices, or like, would you like them to be a little bit louder? Oh, you can use... Judging from what I saw in the um, levels, I think I should give you a bit more juice. Use L2 and R2 to zoom in and out. I like this voice, sure. A little more juice. Because we do kind of, we're not going to be talking over the audio. Yeah. Because we'll be listening. I'm going to give it you three more decibels. Audio is good and great. Sure. Three Maybe more. not more. Maybe three more decibels. All right. Ah, uh, suddenly, okay. What would you do? Would you wipe the mirror? As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. And you will never unbecome it. So it's reporting that it was success. Up there. Saying that the challenge was easy and it was successful. Okay. Um, I don't care, still wipe the mirror. Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. I don't care. Behold. There we go. And then the, the, the profile has ah. been updated. Is this different based on what you choose, what you create? Like this image? That's awesome, if true. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me, what is this? Of course I do. It's um, it's some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. This is the face, the face of a late stage alcoholic. I'm gonna say two. <laughs> I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh shit. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Um. I wasn't expecting such a jovial smile. I <laughs> smile all the time. Uh, I think it might be because I'm a superstar. <laughs> I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. <laughs> I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. It's there. <laughs> You're scaring yourself. Uh, I'm going to keep making the face. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Stardom. Stardom. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has-been kind of way. There's a charm to it. Or it's an expression of pain. I'm going to go with four. <laughs> there might have been. Ten years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Okay. Um, so, it says this is a white check. You guys might not be able to read that. This is a white check. You may retry it. So, I'm about to attempt it. And so using my encyclopedia, which I didn't put anything into, or I haven't yet, um, I have a low chance at saying dig deep into my mind and locate the source of the expression why I make this expression or Which one am I highlighting right now actually? I'm pressing up so it must be one. Okay So highlighted entries are dark not light. Mm. That's a little confusing. All right um, Impossible almost a 3% chance to attempt to stop the facial expression. This is cool that There's chances in it too. Yeah these are roles. These aren't just like dialogue trees that are like set in stone based on what you choose. You have chances. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to. Uh. So, this is the sort of breakdown you get if you're hovering over success. 
Okay. I'm gonna try to stop the expression. It's too late. <laughs> like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It huh. would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. <laughs> so I have this painful smile on my face all the time. Um, dig deep in your mind and locate the source then. So I failed this check, but because it's a white challenge, I don't lock out the other one. So now I can try the other one. Okay. This is how follow game should be made. And the probability went up. It was 3% before, right? Or did you no, do- No, it's the one that I attempted was 3%. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try then to see why I make this face. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. All That's right. all you know for now. Guess I'm done with the mirror. Huh. So L2, R2 zooms in and out. There we go. Thank you. Nice. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. That's gross. I like his bulge. Of course you do. <laughs> okay, I've already been in the mirror. Okay, I'll take this. What is this? Oh, it's a shirt, I think. Can I take the shirt off? my oh. oh maybe here we go so sure does it have stats conceptualization goes up a real statement to wear suggestion goes down on savory odor this is a white satin shirt it used to be fancy it used to really catch the light <laughs> it now smells like someone took a piss in the armpits <laughs> so if i press that I I'll like take it off one shoe the shoe is a green crocodile leather shoe, high heel and chrome embellishments. It fits your left foot perfectly. Now all that remains is to find the other shoe. The shirt with no pants is even worse. <laughs> I'm thinking of, I want to see what it looks like. Just put the tie on now without a shirt. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. So, okay, I am not allowed to do these two things at all. Oh. Whatever it requires to do these things, probably physical dexterity or abilities of some kind, I don't have the abilities to even do these. Interesting. So, but I can, with Savoir Faire, do this, which is under the... You can do those. They're not checks. You can do Oh, them. I can just do them. Yeah, this one, just though. straight up. Oh. Okay, thank you. All right, well, let's try the one that I can try. I would... In real life, also, just try for the tie. Yeah. You swoop up yeah. and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. If it's your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a ceiling fan? Maybe this thing is dangerous somehow. An ominous, foreboding feeling fills you as you look at the tie. I'm doing a half Windsor because it's a baby. <laughs> I want her to see that I am a baby, so I'm doing a very simple knot. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine-Nine, cut and hold. Um, now I can just do this for fun. The Call blades the come squeak into a halt. Huh. Put that back the on. switch must be broken Aww. because nothing happens. Do it again. The switch must be broken Shit. because nothing happens. Turn on the light. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your. The lights 
are off. Wow, they voice acted all of this shit. Wow. Oh my god. I'll pick up the pants in case I want them later. So we're looking pretty good right now. Oh. This is pretty good too. <laughs> What's going on here? Does this mean, what does this mean? Uh, is it something in my inventory that needs to be like interacted with? Um, pants, savoir faire, tight around the thighs. Ooh. Right stick over to that. Oh, but it's above my head. Electrochemistry tight on the crotch. So I get plus one electro horniness. It's tight around the crotch. But I it's tight around the thighs, so I lose a little bit of suaveness because nobody likes to see tight thighs. Cum stained party pants. Oh my god, where did it say that? They're someone's piss soaked cum stained party pants. Oh my god, that's amazing. Someone's <laughs> Well, my character seems to be of an otherworldly type at this point, like stuck in this yeah. body either has amnesia or like yeah doesn't has a huge disassociation with his actual self you hear a jingle ah perception. keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants okay. fish them out it says whirling in racks on the aluminium key ring there is a single key on the ring the number one is etched on it it should open the door aluminium Aluminum? Al aluminum? Aluminum. Aluminum? Aluminum. 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 Alright, I guess I'm leaving. I don't see anything else I can get in here. Oh. I'm feeling better. Oh, God. Gained. That's a door, I think. I don't want to go through the door yet. What does L1 highlight interact interactables? Uh huh? Does L1 highlight interactables? Oh, that's nice. That's that's helpful. Okay, thank you. Presumably, based on my perception, it just won't highlight certain things. Mm, L1 and R R1 for stuff. <laughs> Calendar says it's March, and oh, it's, it's not 51. March uh -huh. It's not in 51 either. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, am I military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. I mean, I want to talk to her. Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Miss Orangi Disco Dancer. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. <laughs> then why did you call me officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. <laughs> Are you sure? You're shitting me. Goddamn right I'm a policeman. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. She takes another drag. All this time. You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. And what business? I that? couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. So each time that I have no choice but to choose one choice, maybe that's an instance in which there would have been another choice, maybe, if I had different stats. Why don't I remember being a cop? Who in the right mind would l let me be police officer of the, an officer of the law? I should get going, or suggestion five, an even chance at this. This is a red check, it cannot be retried. Suggestion challenging, it's a challenging, I have a chance. Try the expression on her. <laughs> Let her know you want her physically. <laughs> the 
words have already left your mouth. <laughs> Damn it! I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> What was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. No. Come on, man. Freddie, please. One more time. <laughs> oh I want God. to have fuck with you. <laughs> Don't let them do that. Say what you said again, proudly. <laughs> I said I want to have fuck with you because I'm authoritative. <laughs> Goddamn right you did, you crazy asshole. You. <laughs> what kind of cop are you? <laughs> oh my god. I also love her. Yes. I'm a cop of the apocalypse. Superstar cop. It's been established. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said what I said that. You're pretty. I'm sorry. I'm the sorry cop. <laughs> <laughs> this is so well written. Wasn't this written by a woman? I remember whoever uh, accepted the award, there was at least a woman among them. There was mm. three people who came up on stage. Oh my god. That's awesome. Do you not remember? I'm not sure I'm a cop at all. I don't remember being one. I think I might have lied. I gotta say I'm the sorry cop. <laughs> don't be. It was funny. And anyway, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit about any of it? Man, I like you. Yeah, dude. Who gives a shit? She appears to genuinely want you to understand it's okay. Empathy is success. So I'm able to tell, uh, I can tell that. So what if you can't pull grade A pussy anymore? There are other things in life. Damn more it. More meaningful, more fitting for a man your age. God damn it. This, this is Fata Morgana. One thing though. Fata Morgana, what is that? Is it, that's not Latin. It's like, what is she saying? It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. That pantsuit. Whoa! Do you see that? Yeah. Uh... And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Uh, I haven't even begun this game, but please tell me that they're working on another game. <laughs> like, I'm loving this. <laughs> Looks like she left an, a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still, it's still smoking. Uh, you're gonna smoke Free it? Free cigarette. Yeah. Um, I can go. Is there a faster way to get to my inventory? Because I always have to go to this first and then go over to get to these things. Oh, I can't even get to it. I guess I didn't take it. Oh wait, no, then I have to go like this. It's not even a tool, so I don't know what it is. I don't, I can't have it though. The cigarette? Yeah. Hmm. And then here's showing a map, map. These are found white checks. Those on white are available to try now. Those on white? I can go retry these checks right now, it says. Hmm. So I could go back to the mirror. If there's a quicker way, I don't know how. Oh, that's too bad. So how do I retry these checks? It says in my inventory that I can retry them now, but, so it's under map. Is it? L3 or R3 maybe? Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, there was another door. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try... A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Hey, I can't. It's locked. It says that I can retry them, but I can't! Liar. What? They're gray right now, so I think you can't. When they're white in that list, you can retry them. Oh, okay, so maybe it's just at a point where I can't. I'm gonna take this Maybe. disco blazer. Oh shit, yeah. Oh, this without a shirt underneath is pretty good. Yeah. And then I can press this. Does it have a kick again sign to go on the look? Back? Yeah, this is a little unwieldy. This uh, 
Disco ass blazer, esprit de corps, halogen watermarks. What is esprit de corps again? It's like, uh, I think that's policey. Looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. It's an enigmatic white rectangle on the back oh. and the right sleeve. Disco ass. Um, Google oh. says Fata Morgana equals a mirage. And what is that, Latin? Is Thank it you guys. Latin? It means police stuff, yeah. All right, still don't want to go outside yet. Want to check that other room? I guess this is probably also. Look downstairs. Officer. Oh, there's a glitch. Mm. Yes, sir. How did you know I'm with the police? Unless you've been feeding us a set of well-rehearsed lies, you've been, I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Would you be of saying? course. Oh. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Oh, I hope that didn't reset my interaction with her, or like make it different. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. It says it's Italian. That's one hell of a bug right there. Uh, yeah, I think I have to restart. This is getting no response from any button, except for this. I don't know how I'm so good at finding bugs like this. Let's hope that there was some sort of a saving going on Got somewhere. Mm-hmm. Spirited pride feeling. One would imagine it saved right after, like, either her going to the room or me picking up the shirt or something. Oh, it oh. didn't. I mean, we're uh, not very. Far, all right, I gotta quickly do everything that I, th I have to remember. Four, five, two, one. Yep. No, go to load save? We couldn't. Yeah. Uh, next. Then I chose authority. God damn it. I have to That's okay. try to remember everything I did in here. Oh shit. Okay, I th I'll try to brute force this. I guess I'm gonna save manually and often then. There is not ever, never, ever an inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of strut. You got it, sweet brother. Coming right up, sir. Smooth. All right. Not great choice, Elder One. The song of death, like a fly to the. You can take it. You're a champion. Uh, this one, I think. No. Yeah. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, a fiery streak. Somehow, you know. checks again. I definitely want my interactions with her to be the exact same if it can. Mm. Please. Go pick up everything that I had here. Okay. Investigate the tape. Shoe, and it was on the wall. Mm. Okay. Uh, it's a little weird with the tape of this thing. And then. You hear a jingle. It says. Okay. I might not succeed in getting the tie. 
This fan has too or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this you swoop up and catch Yay. the <laughs> Wow. I get a... It's released. What you have in your hand, is, if it's your an ominous foreboding feeling, feels the blades come a terrible mistake. Turn the lights. Did I go up to the bathtub before? Yeah, it's full of wine bottles. Oh. Beer bottles. Sweet liqueurs. Okay, here's the first of the... Uh... Fuck you, Windows. <laughs> Let's restart. I'd love to restart right now. It seems you're using the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Can I... I'm gonna go ahead and interrupt you. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. Hot water sprays from the bait. Okay. Suddenly, you realize you have no more. As you mirror. slow the board, you clearly have Still not been like on. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Superstar. Okay, superstar. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, I think I said is that I have an no expression? idea why it's there. It just Are is. you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. I decided not to try to stop, right? No, I said I'd Oh my try. god. Yeah. You can't stop. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Four. Is it? Yeah. There might have been ten years ago. It's little more try than the a cadaver. Low chance now. here to stop it. It's too late. Check failure. Like an image on film. Uh, wait, 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 wait. To get back in. Here. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, why it belongs oh. in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. Okay, dot, dot, dot. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne-tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, what de Nuit, somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. <laughs> this is just like... <laughs> uh, why did I drink my... I guess that's it then. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. So I got plus three to oh, knowing the origin. And then Still I can try not it again. happening. It won't come off oh, that okay. easy. It just won't come off. Oh, okay. I thought it was fucked up again. Yeah, there's a bit of jankiness here. How do you save? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Kind of flame. Okay. It gave you another chance because you found out the origin. Took the shirt off. Thank you. Wait, what was I wearing when I saw her the first time? This. Mm, I wasn't wearing the jacket. Oh, shit, you're right. There we go. <laughs> Gotta recreate the situation. And then if I went over here, this showed up. So this is a thing I, ch I, I got. Temporary research bonus, negative one logic, head in the clouds, research time, four hours, 30 minutes. So, like, almost, like, XCOM style, I can, like, start a research project within my own head. Sort thoughts by status, date. Oh, I can do that if I was able to. Ooh, there is some 
wonkiness going on here. Hobo cop, aces high, aces low, lonesome, long way home. What the fuck am I looking at? I think this is like all the things we potentially could Some kind of superstar. These are like, I think potentially my personalities, like what I could be. Can I be a superstar? Can I, like, they've already really? mentioned Cop of the Apocalypse. They've mentioned Superstar is in here. These are right, all, like, right. potential origin stories. And in this particular case, I got Guillaume de Le Million. Le Million, Le Million. Hey, buddy. They're your traits or feats. Whatever happened to Guillaume Le Million, who, with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, beguiled the tattered remains of the nation? While you suffered and suffered, did he dread dematerialize in a cloud of cocaine dust, or did he simply stand in the corner and melt and slend into the slendering new lines of some starlight blonde the Lenui? What the fuck? On first playthrough, all of this is just like, what the fuck? Mm. So I can decide I If we want minus one logic, basically. Temporary research bonus, minus one logic, head in the clouds. It will last for four hours and 30 minutes. Is this a, like an expendable? Does it expend itself? I think over so. Over time? It's like I get to put this into me for a bit? Like it's inventory? Is that what they said? Interesting. Pretty much, you pretty much think about topics you choose and you get benefits from completing them. You when pretty much think about a topic, oh, okay. When it's done, you have a new trait. The thought needs time to internalize and then we'll reveal what the final status it gives you. Would you guys say that they're, like, you should pick and choose based on what you, like, um, is true role playing in this game, like, seeing, reading that little bit, that little blurb that I just read, and deciding whether that's something I want to think about as the character I'm playing? Or do you pretty much just do everything you get? Mm, that's a good question. But for now, I'm gonna go talk to the girl. Yes, absolutely. Yes? Well, I don't really like this Guillaume Le Mignon story. You don't want to think about it. No. First I went over here. And then I grabbed that. And then I grabbed the thing. Uh oh, the temperature has changed. And then... Did I read the cat calendar? I think you did that Okay, saving again. New save? It's interesting. Here, I did get an... Oh, no, that was my manual save. Okay. You have pretty limited stats, so definitely wanting to roleplay the ones that grab you. So, okay, yeah. thank you. I will roleplay. All right. Hello. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Am I a military person? Uh, no. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Then why'd you call me off? Because you're a police officer, sir. Are you sure? I am, yes. You've been here for three days. And what's all this? On, I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Try the expression on her. Here we go. <laughs> Try the expression. Didn't I fail it before? Come on. Why are you still doing this? <laughs> I'm a Death Star bloated a goner. I might have to redo this because I Crap. want the first interaction we had. I want the failure. Yeah, it was so, so good. So let's just see for fun though where okay. this goes, right? Because I can reload. Um, does the long I'm at Death Star bloated a goner and still sigh. Does the longing ever stop? Alcohol raises testosterone levels, especially in men. The levels remain elevated after inebriation ends and the pain begins. You see comfort. It's only natural. Are you a doctor? She puts out her cigarette. Are you a scientist? Are you my mom? <laughs> so that is worse to get success. She it's not even fun. You, a light glinting oh. off her eyes. And now it never stops. 
Goodbye. Wow, that's so interesting that success gets you less. Yeah. All right. A true role-playing game. All right, so which one is the one? It was later, so here. 22. The young woman raises a... Uh. There's only one solution to this. What? Because you're a police officer, sir. I am, yes. You've been here for th I couldn't say. You've been here In for truth, three days. so far. Mostly drinking. Try the God damn it! <laughs> Don't give me success. <laughs> I want fuck now. Yeah. Beautiful. You're the too young good. woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Yeah. Uh, There's only one solution to Because you're- I am, yes. You've been here for- th I couldn't say. In truth, so far. The words have Yay. already left your mouth. I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> what was that? I don't want to say not it even again. Help. Come on, man. Pretty please. Don't back down now. Say what you said again. Said I want proudly to have fuck with you. <laughs> Goddamn right you did. <laughs> Crazy asshole you. What kind of cop are you? I'm the sorry cop. Don't be. It was funny. And anyway, who gives a shit? She appears to genuinely want you to understand it's okay. So what if you can't pull grade A pussy anymore? I love There are other things in life. It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate yeah. me. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Okay. Saving. New slot, because I don't trust this game saving or anything anymore. Mm. All right. Get her cigarette. Oh, I guess I just looked at it. I don't think I actually got uh, to keep yeah. it. All right. Oh, why does that go red when I... Yeah, the interaction with things is a little janky right now. It's like, it's weird. So the reason that happened was because an, like, an X appeared over the mezzanine down there and... Zoom out or it. in? Maybe. It'll appear again. And it's not this time, so... Anywho. Well, that would be weird. <laughs> this is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trump Le Monde. Maybe, there we go. So that door upstairs was not a door to be a door, or rather to leave the building. I might go back up and try that door. It looked like it was to another room. Yeah? Yeah. Like, now I'm highlighting Oh my god, what's going- okay, now I'm highlighting that. Yeah, this is a real janky feeling. Oh. Maybe we'll tweak it more. Hopefully. Orangi is pronounced o n y -E, I think it said. Oh, I was thinking about the door at our- in our room. I am the sorry cop. Interesting. Ooh, what's going on here? Hey, is that our shoe? So all the sea is making you dizzy. Oh, my other shoe. I don't want it. I do. <laughs> A gust of briny wind washes over you. So these are all perception checks. Mm. There they both are. Secret test. Two complete. identical shoes. Find your other shoe. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet, hey. like two baby crocodiles. Uh, how do they fit? Good, they're balanced, comfy, 
Feels like the only good thing We're about you right now, truth be told. Okay, so those are two health bars in the bottom left that you guys can't see. They are full, two orange, five blue. And the blue kind of like flashed. So I guess the blue is the morale. Oh yeah, I showed it there. That's what we're seeing. Uh, my shoes are together. My composure's up. Awesome watch tower heels. And um, my suaveness went down. Heels ridiculously high. <laughs> They've lost some of their luster over the years, but the green crocodile leather shoes fit you perfectly. Maybe it makes sense to get dressed and go talk about it. The music is a tad loud. Is it? When it... I'm gonna wait on that. I don't see why, because the music was super quiet compared to the voices in our studio. interrogator because I wanted to know what the hell is going on here. I don't know who I am. The door is closed. Knock. There is no answer. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. I'm so alone. Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. <laughs> Beauty, don't abandon me in all this ugliness. You're <laughs> really playing you. Cop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love, I'm so alone. Um, or like, I mean, if I am trying to truly, what's up, bud? It's You're okay. just announcing yourself? Yes. You sure is. Do you want to come up? Come here. We are so pathetic. Uh, I'm so alone. The door is indifferent to your loneliness. The world does not care. Leave. Hi, my buddy. Yeah, do you want to come up? Yeah, bud. You want him on my lap? Sit between us. Here you go, bud. Here. You have three hands on you right now. Now you have two. No good. All right, going downstairs. Oh, whoa, something happened here. What does that mean? Oh, <laughs> nothing on the front page rings a bell strange. And this is just by being near the newspaper, I think. Mm. <laughs> You're so weird, Hugo. He probably wants outside. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so loud. Yes, he is. I'm sorry. Welcome to our nightlife. Yeah, I don't think this music's loud. Um, I said specifically the horns. Yeah. Speakers connected to the radio, the music is seasoned with static. Okay, sound is good. Who's louder outside? A big old karaoke mic, just waiting for someone to sing into it. This is where the lyrics would be. Right. You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is modest, it's normal sized. My soul is puny. My soul is immense. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. <laughs> My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard <laughs> through a PA system by other people. This goes well with the theory I'm developing that I'm a down on my luck superstar person. <laughs> <laughs> what should I sing when it comes to it? Linda, Linda. You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. 
Um, lamentation sounds good. They'll get a real gauge for my soul with that. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, get the people going. <laughs> I'm making plans. <laughs> no, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. I have a task now. This All right. goes well with the theory that I'm developing. I'm a down on my luck superstar. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. <laughs> you should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. <laughs> See if it works. All right. I don't know that. Oh, okay. This feels right. You belong here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I like the concept that you're like finding yourself in this game, which is yeah. like is very meta for the playing of an RPG. Yeah. Sing karaoke. You need to find a sufficiently tragic take, then play it on the boombox, memorize the lyrics, then ask the cafeteria manager to perform. Preferably in the evening, more people at the bar then get a hold of a sad song on tape. That's my first quest. Um What's this? What the hell's that? Healing item gained. Oh, okay. So we have. Is like healing item? An extra healing. Oh. I guess we didn't need it. Well, that's weird. It doesn't appear in my inventory. It does. Like it's I immediately like... took it. Like I, it, there's a plus one, so if you press left on the D-pad, I think you would take it. Oh. But you don't need it It's right weird that now. I can't read about what I picked yeah. up, though. It's a water cooler. Large bubbles are rising to the surface. The menu has been wiped clean with only the word Monday written on it. A woman's hand wrote the yesterday's menu. She starts... Today starts in a man's handwriting. Whoa, I'm that perceptual? What the fuck? Garte, the cafeteria manager, a man in his late 20s, stands behind the counter inspecting stuffed seabird, a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance and looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he is purposely ignoring you. Looks like he's not a fan. Since you are not a fan of mine, look at the stuffed bird. Are you the bartender? I'm going to look at the stuffed bird too. I'm going to match his movement, like what he's doing. A competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among the piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its Ew. wings is broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was supposed to mount it, most likely on the wall. Did we do that? This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. Something about it makes you feel bitter. a great skewer, right? Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man is in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. So I have a buddy. Maybe he's going to help me out. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you concentrating on the bird instead. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. You look like a bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. Is that the girl? I'm only standing in. Where did the Sylvie go? She just, you know... He shrugs. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. She just what? So now you're a cop. Oh, forget it. I sense you're not a fan of mine. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? Uh, you're being sarcastic. Am I? Or did you ride in 
take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room. Oh my god, I did all those things? <laughs> <laughs> I did all those things, including not trashing your hostel room? <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah. No, you see, actually, you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you got here. What have I been doing, then? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. He looks down again, plucking at the bird. Bye, Mommy. I love playing stupid characters. <laughs> mm, uh, okay. I better zoom out. There we go. So my buddy's in here. Is that my buddy? Oh, which one's no, my buddy? No, the dude at the door. What's this? Tapping his foot. <laughs> Sign reads, Mess Hall, reserved for union members. Doors open at 4. And it is 8.35 a.m. on day one. Hello, sweetie. Hello. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods the man with the orange bomber jacket. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. One second. A bottle of rum has been knocked over. A beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. Sleeping dock worker. A man is sleeping at the table. Is this a glitch? The static? I think that was a line that was supposed to happen and it was static instead or something? I don't mm. know. Back of his shirt reads, wild pines encircled by a logo with a tree. That static was probably really loud. That's what it looked like on my levels. On the mm. counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. I have to try to wake him up. There is only one way to wake this bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the buildings from the earth. Why the yelling man? Wake up! This is an order! I am the law! <laughs> the 30-something man slowly lifts his head and gives you a pensive look. Looks like a sow descendant. A lot of sow dock workers around. You're alive? You look good. Out of it, uh, I, I just wanted to see what would happen if I yelled. <laughs> I need you to answer some questions right now. I just want to see what happened if I yelled. Congratulations, you've seen the future. Now, if you excuse me again, officer. These voices. Yeah. The worker sinks back into the table, ready to continue. Officer, even after a rude awakening, this dock worker respects the police more than they usually do, at least. Um, yours? Indeed. Help yourself to some. Wait. No. Oh, it's empty. Sorry about that. Oh. What you dreaming of? Thank God, no. Oh, nothing. Okay. Fathomless darkness is what we're... If it's pure nothing, your consciousness is no longer than a single grain of malt. Tell me. Was it a bliss free of X somethings? <laughs> the worker stares at you, his eyes dry from That's sleep. The reference a web of wrinkles covers his tanned forehead. I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir, but when I'm out, then I'm really out. No X anything, just quality time. A little me time in the abyssal pelagic zone. You can never return to it now. Apologic. Only Apologic. detective work remains. Wakefulness and detection. What about the wild pines? Master, name of my employer. Now I work in logistics. He doesn't sound too enthusiastic about this. That's wonderful. Logistics? Nope. <laughs> it's a nightmare. He lets his head fall back to the table. All right, I'll let you see. The dock worker doesn't answer. Got five his head is already back down on the table. Auto save. Ooh, good. Probably do a manual save too. Hmm. Hmm. So if I go back up to him, um, how does this game work with that stuff? The worker is in a deep. Perhaps he's on his way to where you just came from. 
into the primordial darkness. On the counter, rolled out oh, of his open close. hand. The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. Magnesium. Interesting. Thought. So even like you still kind of have to walk around to try to get like. Oh. Did you lose it? I don't know how this stuff works. It was there for a moment. Last time it was for a newspaper that was actually behind me when I went yeah. near it. It's really can. Are these things like That time? sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? I think it was a button you pressed. You can bring up that circle manually. Uh, uh, oh. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty long. It's drink or clack. boy. It's coming back to him. You had your mesolimbic reward pathway worried there. Not thinking about drinking all that time. It was like you weren't yourself. I've been secretly thinking about it all this time. Actually, I should be thinking about this. It looks like drinking hasn't turned out well for me. Now that you mention it, I do need a rum and lemonade. I'd l love for Garte to serve me up the beverage. Is that the guy that yeah. I won't? <laughs> Who is not a bartender. Yeah, I'm going to say I don't think drinking is doing too well. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. <laughs> Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade to yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain like off the counter. But only a little. Lick it, but only a little. You lick it, but only a little. <laughs> only with the tip of your tongue, because you're a pleasure delayer. <laughs> After two or three licks, the crust begins to melt, and a sweetness breaks loose. The sharp, titillating scent of alcohol rises to your nostrils. It's dizzying. You could definitely go for some more. Ah, oh, the abyssopelagic zone is part of the ocean. Ah. Between 3,000 and 6,000 meters, it is in perpetual darkness. That's where Thank James you, Cameron Gable. lives. A pleasure to layer. It's pretty great. So now, there's something new in here. Find booze and drink it. It's a new uh, quest. The hangover feels really bad. You have to take the edge off. Find a bottle of alcohol, put it in your hand, equip it in the held slot of your inventory, and magic happens on its own. What do you do whenever you have a really bad hangover? And it's what you have to function that day? Ketchup. Ketchup? Fried foods and ketchup. Like, and preferably some, hash browns and ketchup. And sometimes a Caesar. Sometimes a bit of alcohol helps. Yeah. Ketchup is good. Caesar is amazing for a hangover. Oh my god, now I want a Caesar. And I'm not even hungover. Find your other shoe. Seems your other... Oh, I, I finished that. It? Yay. Alright. So, Raddy said that I can, like, bring manually up that thing. Maybe I did. Maybe that's the thing I just got. But, anyways. It is kind of weird that you can so easily miss these things. Mmm. And it wasn't even really near where the stain was at that point. Like, yeah, it's kind right. of counterintuitive, a lot of these ones that are... I f I'm having a feeling this is the porting that makes this so awkward. A lot of the proximity to things. Anywho. Um, a bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? I'm going to shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. Maybe. You realize he's waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. And to name for yourself, I have a high chance of this. I might as well, because I have an imagination. Spartacus. Motherfucker! Mm. <laughs> Failure. Raphael Ambrosius Costo. 
That's the best I get. It's so cool. It's very cool. But won't I come off as some kind of douche if I call myself that? Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Horrific necktie is talking to me. You instinctively run your hand over the multi-patterned silk of your tie. Oh, maybe not. It's just the fact that I have this. Okay. Its slickness gives you comfort and reassurance. This is crazy. How much is involved? How did they organize all this shit? Yeah. My name is Rafael Ambrose Cacosta Custo. Don't worry, it's one classy name for one classy cop. Yes, well. <laughs> he doesn't even process what you just said. He moves on. Not for a moment does he believe that's your real name. He casts it aside as an intra-departmental joke or a peculiarity he doesn't understand. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? This is so interesting with like, this is very meta on our show. He's, he's got a Japanese name, but he speaks with a French accent. Yeah, right? <laughs> what he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Um, you mean the cafeteria manager? Some kind of misunderstanding you're talk talking about. You mean him? Yeah, I did. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Yes, police. I'm aware that I am a policeman. <laughs> what interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Just just with his fingers. Yes, the policeman. Uh, let's see, I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? What? <laughs> Man, this is the a good tree? mystery already. Um, and that's why the guy said you took the body down. <laughs> Look, man, you know, yeah. <laughs> Dead body. No, completely. <laughs> no. So, the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? How can you be so sure I'm from the police, but I can't remember anything? What, what are we supposed to do again? Let's, um, I'm gonna just be honest, I would be in this situation. What if I, but I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse, much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. How can I be so sure I'm from the police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. Mm, he points at your jacket. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. What he's saying is, he's not from the rat squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. You mean the rat squad? So, I'm assuming, like, I'm getting this information from my internal voices. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the only way my character knows anything. No need for derogatory terms. They're only doing their job. Okay. He nods. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. <laughs> there is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. 
What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. And then, soon after, dead bodies would be dangling from all the trees. But first, we have to take it down. What are we supposed to do again? <laughs> Talk to the manager. Uh, then we go out back right, and take the body down. After you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge? You mean you don't have a badge? And it wasn't on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. <laughs> It wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Hmm. <laughs> Kim is very, very patient. Yeah. Tell me about the case. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. I want to talk about you. You seem to be following me. <laughs> you seem to be following me. Excuse me? Uh, nothing to say. I don't want to get rid of him. Nothing. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. You have to search for the right words. Um, Just like you have a distinctive walk. What do you mean distinctive? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. How's that? They say it's a scene-clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic, yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. That's amazing. That's incredible. It's doing the, like it's the. I feel like that's a meta reference to an RPG player. The way that they go around before mm. they even talk to people, clear the scene, like which is what I just did. Uh. Did he make this observation based on the fact that I exhausted everything in the room before going to him? I that wonder. That would be insanely cool. I don't. That's racist. I don't prioritize <laughs> containers. Uh, kidding me? Why containers? I don't know. Containers contain. I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes is not usually his oeuvre. He regrets bringing it up. The case. I think you should just know I can't remember anything. I need to tell him that. No response. He just arches his eyebrows. He's having trouble processing it. I feel Believe like I must repeat this. Either. I don't <laughs> remember anything. There was heavily drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There is a sudden, harsh edge to his voice. Like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. <laughs> I'm afraid this is a medical situation. <laughs> really? You look fine to me. Unbel I'm talking serious, unbelievable damage here. I saw myself in the mirror and had no idea who I was. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. <laughs> he doesn't care. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively <laughs> erase their entire life. It's not psychological. Some sort of major brain damage has occurred on an unprecedented scale. Oh then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazarus. Was there anything else you wanted? So I gained a, a task because of that, my persistence in that. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about the case. What do you want to know? Literally anything about it. I can't remember a single thing. This is so refreshing because there's so many games and shows and movies where like a simple statement would like get to the bottom mm -hmm. of things. It's like somebody is like in like dire straits. Like super strength. obvious yeah. statement. It's like you're in this situation and you're not gonna ask that. It's like, it's like sometimes they'll write into like a movie like, uh, hey, what? Uh, and the person's like, what? And they're like, never mind. And like, mm -hmm. it's like, no, a normal person would pursue this topic of conversation until you got an answer. Yeah. You wouldn't. Just accept. You wouldn't accept knowing. the person say, hey, we don't have time for that. Come on. Be yeah. like, now three hour car ride and they don't talk about it. That happened a lot on True Detective. Not True Detective. No. Uh... Mind Hunter. Oh. They apparently yeah. are traipsing across all of the states and they're constantly not broaching obvious topics that they should get to the bottom of until they reach the parking yes. lot. Yes. 
until they reach the parking lot of they the, their destination. They close their car doors and they're like, okay, so before so we- what was it about that? Yeah, before be like, we get to this door right in front of us, we have to like rapid fire what happened. Hurry up, it'd be like, no time, we got to the door. We can't, we walked as slow as we could, but we didn't get to the bottom of that like yeah. critical juncture in our relationship that we should really suss out right now. All right, anyways, literally anything about it, I can't remember a single thing. Would you say this is a mystery case? <laughs> this is a mysterious case? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say this is a mysterious mystery? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. I was thinking about otherworldly might something otherworldly might be involved, you know, with something supernatural. White male is forty is what more do you need? Personally I think labor disputes are very mysterious. Okay, so this case probably isn't mysterious, but could it be sexy? <laughs> this doesn't feel like real role play, but like I don't want to see that. There was some interest in this case at my station, but not for the reasons you have in mind. You seem to wish there was a... Maybe there was a young woman involved? Exclamation mark, question mark. Yes, it just so happens there is a beautiful, blonde, 19-year-old woman at the heart of this case. A rich one, in fact. Part of a murder sex cult. Are you fucking with me, kids here? The wary tone is the surest indicator that the lieutenant is being ah. sarcastic. <laughs> That's mega sexy. <laughs> It doesn't have to be a call. It can just be a sex murder. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a murder. It can just be sex. <laughs> oh my god, all these choices are incredible. That's mega sexy. <laughs> no, not really. Was <laughs> oh. there anything else? I think I have a feeling that being my sidekick, they're able to get out of a lot of dialogue trees by simply having him dryly disregard. Mm. And that's probably smart. Mm. It can still be an otherworldly sex mystery in your head. I have a feeling that a pretty much all those choices resulted in him saying no. Yeah. Um. He's basically challenging you to sex it up with some <laughs> lurid twist. This is my horniness. Don't get right into it. Sit on it a bit. Then hit him with it. All right. Oh my God. I feel like I need to put some points in electrochemistry, but I don't have enough like physical points to do it. <laughs> it's made me, I put so little points into physical ability that I've lost all my virility. Oh, shit. And I feel like I have some. I'm bald after all. <laughs> Literally anything about it, I can't remember a single thing. Okay, how about that now? I think we did this one. Go down. Kim will entertain your thoughts depending on what you pick. Uh, That's interesting. Go down. Oh, okay, you didn't do that one. We've only done two. Maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit? I know n literally nothing about it. Only what you told me. Do you want me to brief you? Brief me, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in Rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. What's the name of the hostel? Whirling in Rags. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Who was the caller? Um, the caller did not identify himself. It doesn't say himself. himself. Or, it says him. Okay. To find him or her is one of our tasks here. For now, all we know is that the tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Um, so the Dockers Union is, is the police in a way. You're saying the de facto police. Mm -hmm. Let me just make this. 
So the union is king in this town, like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the RCM is. That's us, the Revachol Citizens Militia. We're the police in this city. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizen Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps huh. of the occupied city. I like this alternate Earth. The RCM kind of. operates like... within a legal twilight. Yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. <laughs> it's super useful to know this. I mean, yeah, I guess I could just turn it down because it's yeah. at twenty-six. Like the thing meters itself so poorly. Yeah. Um, I put it at 28, which is ridiculous. Uh, okay, let's make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer. That's right. Yay! <laughs> That's 10 to tell you about the case. 10 experience. Um, give me the preliminary. You mean again. like a brief? Oh. Do you want me to brief no, you? There's no reason to wing anything. <laughs> if you didn't get the brief, that's okay. I did. Thank you. Three days ago, ah, the, during that time. Anyways. The victim had been stripped of his belongings. Does the briefing say who the, the victim was? The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. <laughs> there is an ongoing Peralta? labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company. Was the victim? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Well Pines. When this I was do just talk over these voices, can you guys hear us okay? We need to find out like, the truth. This is how I would talk if I'm talking over Kitsuragi. 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 Uh, this is hearsay from Martinez. Of course, we need to find out the truth. Okay. Yep. To find him or her, if there is a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers I still union don't understand is the... Anything. Okay, well, <laughs> we are police officers. It is our job to find the killer. So that's what I intend to do. You should try it. Too. I want to see that one other thing. Do you want me to... Three days ago, during that time... Make a call. The okay, then. <laughs> Was there anything okay, else then. you wanted to know? Uh, we're different from different precincts. Why are we on the same case? Yeah, are we on like the border of our two? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. His disdain is clear. This man would not use such an expression otherwise. Mm -hmm. You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. I don't remember being in on anything. You know what I'm. In on retrograde amnesia. <laughs> Better still than an imbecile cop off. Cop off? It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. You should tell me now. This seems relevant. Later. Was so there so anything else you wanted to know about the case? Alright. Good. Inland Empire, this is the loner thing. Convince Kim that there's a dark sexy mystery twist here. I wonder why the loner thing... Well, that's it's also creativity, right? At high levels it can make you a loner, kind of like super in your own world, but it also gives you an imagination, I think, Inland Empire. Mm. It has the potential to isolate you into your own world and make you crazy, I think, mm. is the thing behind that. I think, if it's I remember if you right. Remember I'm gonna try to convince him. What if you did it? <laughs> what if you did it? Did what, the hanged man? Who? Okay, so Inland Empire, my inner voice is set, is asking me this, and I'm going to respond to my inner voice with this? Mm, I guess Did what, so. the hanged man? Yes, you killed him. And then, as part of the plan, you drowned out the man. That is cool. Maybe this is why your chest feels so hollow. You Guys. did an awful thing, and you can't even bring yourself to acknowledge it. I had an idea for a video game that I probably won't ever make, but like, it's a cool idea. How about like a, a detective game like Phoenix Wright or something, but like the entire premise is like you're you're sort of a detective and and an attorney at the same time. Like the dynamic works for this, but you are trying to like you are you are always the person who did it, or you have somebody close to you like your friend or your girlfriend or something is always the killer. It's like a serial killer and your job is to frame somebody. That's success, is 
proving someone who's not guilty is guilty so that you're always getting your friend off or yourself off, whichever one is the guilty party. I think that'd I be a cool story. Like, where you just, you know who did it, it's always you or your friend, and you must find evidence or fabricate Someone evidence. Else to pin it on. To pin it on. Yeah. And that's, and it's a series of cases just like Ace Attorney. It's not just one time. It's like every case is a new murder. That story begins with you waking up and, or like, happening upon scene and be like, Again? All right. <laughs> I'll start fabricating evidence. I'm on the case. Yeah. <laughs> or like, I guess in the case, I also was thinking just, it's funny because you, like we haven't played Edgeworth yet, but like it would be interesting to be, and I'm kind of looking forward to Edgeworth for this, but I don't think Edgeworth has court scenes. I think you're just investigating all the time. I think, I don't know. But anyways, mm-hmm. like, it would be interesting to need to try to, even if it wasn't that concept of yourself or your friend, it, just being the guy who's trying to, at all costs, get a guilty verdict, even mm. if it means fudging with the evidence. That's werewolf? Like, the card game werewolf? You're covering up your werewolf murders? I don't know what werewolf is. I know of a game called Werewolf where you're in VR and talking to friends on either side and, like, somebody's a werewolf. And that's based on the card game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not that. That's not my idea. My idea is more Phoenix Wright and trying to investigate your finding clues and trying to hide real evidence and keep... It's a story, not a multiplayer game. Anyways, maybe this is why your chest feels hollow. You did an awful thing and you can't bring yourself to acknowledge it. Are you sure you would have the strength to take down a hardened mercenary? (laughs) You're not in the best shape. (laughs) One. Kim. Kim, I think I made the murder. I killed the man and then tricked myself into forgetting about it. Keep it to yourself. This is a burden to bear now. I'm just gonna tell him. I think I might be the murderer. I'm a little scared. And what has led you to this conclusion? Fears unfazed. My chest feels hollow, like I did something terrible. I'm a bad person. I believe I could have done anything. Ah, well, we've yet to find any real evidence pointing to you in this case, or even a possible motive. So let's not add you to the list of suspects just yet. I like how we're saying all this in front of this woman. Yeah, (laughs) she's just sitting there. Wow, this is some fucked up shit. So you're saying I didn't kill I find that highly unlikely. It's not unusual for detectives to feel complicit in a crime until the perpetrator is apprehended, especially when the investigation is dragging. So let's get back to it, shall we? I'm so impressed by the amount of dialogue options that are the way I like to play games. Mm. This, these like things that are just like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, I want to talk about you. Me? Uh... Yes, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Well, we'll work better if we have a rapport. Come on, Lieutenant, open up a little. You're right. What's there to know about a lame bino clard? I don't know what that is. He has so I glasses. Say it. Oh, do you think? Uh, we'll have a rapport. We should have a rapport. Yeah, buddy. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right. For the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? You're wearing glasses. You didn't look like the other people around here. Tell me a secret about yourself. Do you ever want, do you ever talk with yourself? Yeah, I'll see if we have something in common, because I'm doing it constantly. What do you mean? Do you have, do you think you're, you know, do you have conversations with like your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather... So he has low imagination. The lieutenant is a police officer of the old school. His concerns are material and extrinsic. So if I'm... If I'm... Is the voice in my head different if I'm stupid? Is it like... A, or is it always the same voice actor talking? Mm. He just says different things. Um, his concerns are materialistic. I know that when, like, all those cards that I could have put points into are all represented each time. Like, he takes on a different name, my inner narrator. Even though it's the same voice, he's taking, like, when he goes at different angles, 
it's the same. Mm. But he's like takes on a different angle and personality kind of when he like depending on the angle he's coming in at you, like Esprit de Corps, which is okay, uh, yeah. which is the police card. But this isn't an old school case. He has different intonations for different cards. Mm. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. But this isn't, okay, I get it. You're one of those old school detectives, nods respectfully. <laughs> so, do you know, tap the other side of your head, tap the side of your, <laughs> I just have nothing to say. So you're saying your brain never just chimes in with advice or warnings or anything? I can't say that it does, no. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. That's where his conversations with himself take place. We all have our different mediums. His is written. Tell me a secret. No. Oh. <laughs> Ask again? Yeah. Your brain sends a signal to your lips that they refuse to order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. The eyebrow is exercising psionic control over you. That's volition, which is my, like, willpower. Mm-hmm. What's happening to me? This is like a negative, I think, to having high points of this, or, but I didn't point. Anyways, what's happening to me? Something the matter, detective. This guy's got authority off the charts. Oh, With it's just his volition his doing it. Or he's able to make his his through. Wow. Nah, I'm going to out authority you, dude. So what can I do about it? Nothing. You better hope he doesn't abuse his authority. There's a lot of it. So you can have authority, but volition is how you defend against authority. Volition tends to try and steer you right. Oh. Interesting. Oh, so what, my volition stopped me from continuing? Mm -hmm. So if I was too, oh, it's be, so because I'm empathetic and I'm able to read people, I have that uh, um, ability, yeah. My volition chimed in and says, hey, you detected that you shouldn't go down this path. Yeah. Interesting. Silently screaming for help. There's a lot of it. Okay. Accept your thraldom. Silently scream for help. If the lieutenant were an evil man, who knows what sort of havoc he could wreak. Fortunately, he is a committed officer of the RCM. He'll only use his powers for the good of the investigation. The lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow, and you seem to regain control of yourself. You're wearing glasses! That's correct. <laughs> I'm backpack kid now. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this. Legendary but you can't quite failure. muster enough testosterone. So again, guys, when this says legendary failure, does it mean it did a check and didn't even give me an opportunity or something like that? That I, I just had a legendary failure based on my physical abilities here. I'm so low that I didn't even, I wasn't even given the chance. Like, I had a 0% chance, so it skipped it almost, or... I just don't have enough testosterone to give him an insult. You had a check and it failed, so it didn't, it just like went ahead and did the roll and I failed to even... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Glasses are cool. Are they? They're mostly just cumbersome. You could use a good normal being yourself. Uh, you, look, you don't look like the other people around here. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. Seolite. My father's father was from Seol. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's like, side. It's not an interesting thing. Sounds like it was drawn upon Seoul in Korea, but like, these are obviously like kind of just... They want to sound like our world-ish mm -hmm. words. I think. What is Seoul? It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seoul is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. Oh, I guess it's not interesting then. <laughs> You're only making it sound interesting. I still want to know about Seol. You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular Reva Cholier. He seems proud of these things. Mm -hmm. He's glad to have shut down your question. That's all for now. Good. Let's change the subject. 
So, okay, now it's showing this. But do you want to know? Again, even though... That's interesting. There's been dark orange dialogue options, despite somewhere in the tree being stuff I hadn't exhausted. And then this one, before I got in here, was bright orange, mm -hmm. despite having all exhausted options. In here? Yeah. Is there somewhere else deeper where it's deeper? not You mean like exhausted? a brief? Do you want me to, three days ago, during that time, I think a victim... Yeah. Okay, then. Was like, there any... No. It's not a particular need, Mr. Good. Wow. Because that one was in there? Yeah, but I then, so. I swear... Anyways, whatever. Okay. I'm saved. I am super intrigued by this game. This is game. so cool. I don't think a game has been done... There may have been, uh, what was the, 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 there was another game, Fantasy, top down, that we actually kind of looked at briefly on this show before, that people say is kind of, has tons of dialogue, and is really involved story, I forget, the name escapes me, it's like, it's got, like we a, have talked it's to a that fantasy woman. name, it's kind of, it, like, double A. Elysium. Uh, no. No. It's like, it's kind of one of those long fantasy type names, and it might even have multiple in the series. It may have been an old game at one point, but then has a new iteration of it. It's not Baldur's Gate, which I, Divinity, wow, Mystic, Holy good shit, job. Holy shit, Mystic. I think so. I think that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I was thinking of. Divinity, Original Sin, top down, and kind of little people like the, this, but I don't know that you can zoom in. Huh. But I think that's like one of the only other games. Like, um, and then I also think of things like Shadow Runner or what I think. It's pretty rad. Is that like the um, that cyberpunk game? I think it's Shadow Run. Like, but it didn't have voice acting. But that's also an old game. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I've heard it's good, though, Divinity Original Sin. Mm. All right, I'm going to talk to... Hello again, sweetie. I see you've met up with your colleague. I don't trust her at all. I don't like her. There's something fucked up about her. Is it because she's a cryptozoologist? The cryptozoologist's wife. Oh. The lieutenant nods politely. Um, oh, she's saying that, too. She was talking to him. Who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. To us. Hmm, maybe I am. And have you found <laughs> anyone to be sweet to? She smiles conspiratorially. Are you conspiring with me? Or the person who wants to be sweet and do? No, I'm done with this mating rituals this time. I don't know. Wink. Maybe I have. <laughs> What's going on? I had once winked twice, <laughs> but then I lost her. <laughs> why? Why would <laughs> wink? <laughs> this is like Captain Holt. We've been oh watching a lot of Brooklyn Nine Nine when he's doing the eyebrow thing. Pump, pump, pump. I don't really want to talk about that. I I need to wink twice. Yeah. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put her into our crew. You seem to be in a chair. <laughs> You're wearing glasses. You seem to be in a chair. I'm the worst. How can I be this intelligent? Yeah. And <laughs> have these dialogue options. How'd you like to roll with me? <laughs> he lacked... I thought I was supposed to have empathy, too. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. I'm going to say, how'd you like to roll with me? But I also like this one. I like both. I'm doing this one. Whatever do you mean? Her eyes light up. I want you to be my wheelchair partner. I want you to be my wheelchair partner fighting in fighting crime. Riddling backyards of Riddling. corpses. Ridding them, okay. That's much different. Riddling backyards <laughs> with corpses. Catching sequence killers. Sequence killers? I don't 
Uh, nothing, I was thinking the lyrics of the song, wanna roll with me. I mean, I want her to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, even though I, I still don't really trust her. But... Sequence killers? Oh my. Like, but I think is that what they call them in this world? Partner, Maybe. Like serial killers? That's funny, because in Mindhunter, they actually, upon the, they really have this big deliberation. Why would we, like, why serial? That sounds weird. Yeah. They actually acknowledge that serial killer sounds odd, and it was, like, that FBI guy came up with the way of, like, canvassing them, who decided to name it that. I think it was him who decided. Yeah, yeah. And they just went with it because he was, like, the de facto expert, so they're like, all right, serial killer. Sounds weird, but let's go with it. Yeah. I think they may even wanted, one of them wanted to say sequence. I think the woman wanted right. to say sequence killer. We did like a whole bunch of research after to see what was true or not. The partner who needs you to help him get a corpse stone from a tree. Cam, of course! Uh, <laughs> I forgot I had you! Jeez! Dude, you're still there. <laughs> I know, I know. There's side mysteries, sequence killers, and forays and a parrot. Yeah, I mean, I. <laughs> Yes, and it seems to me that you do well to stick close to him. He has the look of an upstanding officer of the law, someone you can lean on, and, sweetie, you are looking unsteady. Mm -hmm. And even if he weren't there, I don't think you'd have much use for me. Three heads are better than two. Thank you, but Martinez isn't the most wheelchair-accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. She looked out the wind full wistfully. Perhaps another time. Uh, you seem to be in check. Yes, dear. I, I'm a paraplegic. What's that? A paraplegic. Oh, encyclopedia. Thank you. I was about to say encyclopedia. Where are you? To use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height or a grenade explosion. Mm. <laughs> My head told me this. I'm gonna bring this up. So this is like part of it. It's like by being too smart, you can be totally inappropriate. In addition, I would wonder if I didn't have any intelligence, then my encyclopedia wouldn't even be able to tell me what a paraplegic is. And I'd probably then be able to say what? Yeah, yeah. But you have some empathy. So, so I have this like, option. I'm sorry, I was reading my yeah, I shouldn't have done that. My smartness makes me stupid. Thanks for clearing it up. Let's move on. Hmm, a grenade. Did you fight in a war? No, dear. I'm not quite that old. Although, I was injured in the line of duty. That's interesting that she just took the grenade for granted. Yeah. That was not said out loud. Were you a mountaineer? Were you a type one? <laughs> Can I say all three at once? I feel like I was in a war. <laughs> <laughs> just say them in rapid succession. Uh, uh, were, were you a mountaineer? Nothing so glamorous, dear. Though, when I was young, I dreamt of planting the Revacholian flag on some figurative peak. What did you do then? I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail-order shoe company. You'd think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere, and, well, once I happened to be under some faulty scaffolding. Oh. I was lucky. This was almost 20 years ago, and... I was compensated exceptionally well. One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. Thanks for clearing that up. No problem. She nods, smiling behind her glass. There is no bitterness in her voice. She accepted the curiosity her condition inspires a long time ago. Uh, it's a little bit hard to read because our TV has this like burn-in like safety feature, and when it detects a screen has been very similar for a long time it dims itself mm -hmm. a lot and so like in these shots it's constantly dimming itself if i do this it might no mm -hmm. it doesn't care maybe well i could like i mean this that'll do it there we go yeah i don't know if you noticed but i don't know where i am or what i've been doing or anything yes officer you look rather dazed like a stunned fox but surely things can't be that bad Okay. She won't judge you, no matter what you say. I drank so hard, I literally forgot everything. I'm blowing this apart. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. You know where we are, right? It was on my keys. Uh, a seedy hotel, a war zone on the edge of the world. We're dead, haunting each other. We're ghosts. 
I'm gonna say this. It's the That's obvious. right. And where is the Whirling in Rags cafeteria itself located? See, I have no idea. We're in the city of Revishol, dear. Yeah, all I know is that Revishol used to be really cool in the 30s. Honestly, I don't know diddly squat about Revishol. What kind of place? Hmm, okay. Yes, and Revishol? <laughs> she wants to make sure. It used to, I don't know anything. Why do we? How would I yeah. even begin to tell you? Revishol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but hmm. everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world. Is this a Paris esque place? It has seen place? better days. Because mm. this is what people say about Paris, but its reality is a lot different. Mm. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? 51. Yeah, I do know that. <laughs> All I know is we're approaching the end times. It's a bad year in my late 40s or 50s. I don't know how old I am. <laughs> there, there. The year is 51 and spring has only just started. I'm sure there are better days ahead. The lieutenant studies you, rubbing his chin. I'm beginning to suspect that you might indeed be completely adrift in this reality, thinks the lieutenant. How can it be that bad? Never mind. We're in this now. So I was able to, like, get the general gist of what he's thinking based on my... But that was from Esprit de Corps. That's interesting. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. Oh, what regime are we living under? What mode of government? I'd like to think it's a dictatorship or the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Some kind of democracy, maybe. Uh, our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains of steed. Civilizations cower before us. We are governed by intelligent machines that perform calculations determined for the freest market. Everyone hustles and grinds and makes badass. Like a badass visionary. Well, that was kind of like a glimpse of we had in that thing I got that I chose not to use. The oh yeah. It talked about like that history. Radios are being used to control people's minds and distort perception. Upstairs with the woman. Concealing a true masters. Yeah, foreigners and women. Mm -hmm. Foreigners and women are true masters, and radios are being used to control us and make us not know that. Cop, we are living under a cop regime. I'm gonna say this some kind of democracy maybe nope <laughs> oh, shit. sadly not oh revishol is what's called a zone of control under an alliance of foreign powers called the coalition we have no government of our own and what democracy we have is market driven it's interesting i had a feeling that this is it's it's i'm getting like senses of 1984's like oceania and mm. the, the three powers like with that entire world in 1984 that had like Earth-esque names for things. I mean, I know Oceania is a continent, but like it had discarded like what there was like just this hint of the world where it took a turn, but like everything past that turn was different. Mm. Meaning, buying is voting. I know the answer to this. We're a militia, not real cops. I don't even know what to say. I'm so disappointed. It is quite disappointing. Yes. A lot of people would like some form of representation. There's talk, but for now, the RCM is all we've got. I can only uh -huh. say this, even though it's stupid to say yeah. this. Oh dear, this is troubling. You really ought to know that, being one yourself. There aren't any cops in Revishol, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement. But mm. we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. Half Light is the skittish type, the on edge type. How do you remember that? I don't know. So, how did I do? What is the revolution you mentioned? So, how'd I do? You didn't do too well, dear. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things, history, and places. Remembering reality, in a word, it's very odd. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. But maybe a 
fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary, so I, I wouldn't worry too much. So based on these reactions after my initial attempting to get, like, I, I, I think role-playing in this character after initial, like, yeah, attempts, I would probably start to hide my, like, based on the reactions, try to hide that I'm this aloof. Because mm. it seems like I'm not getting very good. She means this sincerely. Worrying won't do you any good. Like, feels like I could go really, if I do this with the wrong version, I could really go down the wrong path. Yeah. That was the revolution you mentioned. I could be inquisitive since I've already burned this bridge with her. A uh, defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something We're on an archipelago. Mm. So the rest of the world we, didn't Japan? like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. So what are, what are the other massive archipelagos? It doesn't need to be massive though, it could be little. Who has to do with not being a cuss? But I'm a cop. Whatever it has hasn't stopped me. Of course, sweetie. I I really don't know how to explain it better. I'm just a poor woman, she thinks. What do I know of these things? And how can I help you? Could you tell me more? Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. Hmm. I don't know if Kim wants to help me here. No. I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. So I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. Of course, dear. Good right. luck with your case. It gives me a small wave. <laughs> She's written me off. Mm. We should save. And also, um, what is that yellow-orange thing in the bottom? Do we have a new... We life? have tons of new tasks, oh, is okay. what it's telling me. There's all these... Oh, so, interview a cafeteria manager, that's the immediate one. Inspect the victim's body, also something that's obvious in the back once we're done. Report your badge missing, which we unlocked earlier. Um, call your stations Lazarus. Kim suggests you call the stations Lazarus. What is Lazarus? A, La a Lazarus plan is like a backup in case all goes to hell like it's like mm -hmm. a last resort so i guess it can be a noun and it can be a person like a quartermaster but with lazarus plans motor carriage make call so he'll like reboot me i don't know anyways apparently there was a pissing match between the two precincts yours and the precinct 57 kim's ask him about this after the initial inspection Get a reality lowdown. You have no idea where you are. Lena encourages you to ask others to explain the world in greater detail. Perhaps try a rich person. Rich people are educated. All right. So I guess those white challenges that just, I just saw there uh -huh. said electro electrochemistry is the check that it has to do for that one in the mirror, and it says impossible based on my electrochemistry. So. The, I guess it being retriable is that if you could level up and get more points into that, then you would be able to retry it mm. by going back to your hotel or something, right? I wonder what that would change. You'll unlock whatever information it could oh, gather. Oh, right, right, right. Garte, the... Okay, so... Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. He responds tersely. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. He looks at you, realizing he still doesn't know your name. The Harbinger of Ruin. As I said, Detective Raphael Ambros Ambrosius Custo. I'm currently in between names. Can I have a drink? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, he leans in for emphasis. You cannot. Officer, I was thinking more along the lines of your name. Um, I'm currently in between names. Fantastic. Uh, it's like when you've left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo artist name yet. Kim is about to say something. Let him. Right. 
Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report a dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Uh, in a different world, maybe this would have been voiced by no chance, but I'm picturing Snape, or what's his name? What's mm, the real actor's yeah. name? Mr. Potter. Uh, do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay, he looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the You lieutenant. said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. You manage three. But you still know your <laughs> yeah, way around. Yeah, that's funny. Yes? In case we need directions. Why would he get that nervous there? Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. <laughs> no, I'm good. Who, me? Yes, Detective Cousteau. I have everything. You? I mean, that's pretty good roleplay. When I don't want to do things, I just act cute. It's true. <laughs> it's true and it works. Uh, oh, you mean, do I have questions? And if you really want something, you chant it. <laughs> cup, cookie, cup, cup cookie, cookie, cup, cup cookie. cookie. Oh, and I join in and then I make it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm good pass on the questions. The body was behind the building, right? How do we get there? Mm. The lieutenant nods at you for a minute. Please. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Alan Rickman. Thank you, yeah. All right, so that's interesting. Kim didn't mind that I passed. Yeah. And how do we get there? See that door there? Go out and turn right. There's a... There's a big hole in the fence. No need for a key. Just go through that hole and you'll be in the courtyard. Mm. Are you supposed to feel guilty about the hole? His side tells you, yes. Let's go. 30 experience. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. But we no one is saying the multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But. Okay. So. So. Because we have an imagination. Something is gonna happen. Basically, because we have an imagination though, this is saying that we have attributed this voice that we're constantly having a dialogue with to our necktie, mm. our friend. But also we had a premonition that it might be an enemy, but mm. we're attributing the voice and the dialogue to the actual neck, physical necktie. Whether we would do that if we were stupid, might be a different thing. Or maybe we would still do it. I don't know. I mean, it seems like a thing a super person would do, and an intelligent person, potentially. Horrific necktie. Let's bail. <laughs> Time to push the eject button. Sounds like responsibility. You don't like those. No. Don't listen to him. I'm so intrigued by how it's many madness. different options are in this Just game. Yeah. talk. Um... <laughs> so he says I owe him real. And I'm yeah. like, what's real? <laughs> or I can slip away Ooh. unnoticed attempt. I don't owe you shit being mean. Okay, I'm gonna try the, to just... Slip away? you're <laughs> running like the wind, then you've suddenly turned around and are giving him the finger, furiously, with both hands. Why? Why did I do this? Why did I have to use both my hands to put them off? Why both? <laughs> Fuck you, asshole! Believe you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna say fucking asshole. <laughs> Watch out! Continue. 
Oh my god. Is that the end of the game? Everything goes <laughs> dark. Back so soon. I died! <laughs> so worth it. So, so worth it. <laughs> this did not need to happen. I gave no such commands to my body. So worth it. Admit it. You just missed the quarter light. The darkness on the edge of town. I'm playing this like half a space time. I was wrong to it's hard let you to. go. It's my video game personality. Yeah. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? Have you felt the love? This is crazy. The voice reminds me of uh, uh, the what's it? The shame, the shame wizard. Ooh, yeah. Uh, from Big, Big Mouth, Mouth, which is the incredible actor who we also saw. In, Season three of Fargo slash um, I'm thinking of ending things, Father. Yeah. He's in so many different things, but man, I yeah. love that guy now. Like, he's pretty great. I sure as hell haven't felt no love. It's okay. It's going fine. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Are you okay? <laughs> How did she survive? How did we survive? Like, it seems like. You have sustained a trauma to your lower neck. In addition, you have strained your left trapezius muscle. Pain surges down your back when you move. Ouch. Ma'am, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. He just tripped over my chair. Check on him. <laughs> Sir, I didn't, I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop-friendly place. The drinks are on the house, OK? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window, though. Uh, that's a hundred square. He's shaken. Barton now, and he'll cave in. I won't pay for that window. I wanted it to be another try to slip away unnoticed. <laughs> <laughs> I won't pay for that window. Out. Grab your side. Cool. Thanks for your cooperation. I'm going to say this. Okay, fine. I'll take it off your bill. Sleep in a post-apocalyptic hellhole if you want to. Just know I won't give you another room. Cool. <laughs> Not entirely cool. <laughs> you still owe me 60 real for three nights stay. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you back up there. <sighs> I won't pay it. <laughs> I won't pay it. And for God's sake, watch out for yourself. Task gang pay. I can pay for the damages if I'd like to repair my room. No, By not the way, you and the Where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Although he is great as well. Um Do I even have one? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Far away? In time or space? Both? Space. Space. <laughs> that doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. I could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on the building? I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. <laughs> I mean, the way I'm feeling. Entertain the thought when you get the time. Maybe being a hobo and a cop has its advantages. <laughs> So you really get to define who you are in this game. Like, it, you, you, you've lost all identity, so you're defining your history. Like, you're maybe even just recreating your history because you've lost it yourself. Uh -huh. Maybe there is a true one out of all the choices. Maybe they could all be true. Maybe the game allows that. Who knows how they designed the game? I don't know, because I haven't read about it, but it's interesting. Yeah. Um, so, do I want to entertain such a thought? And you want to heal. Yeah, maybe. So does, I'm gonna assume that doing one of these doesn't necessarily like 
completely 100% lock you into a thing. It's just an entertaining the thought, right? Like, this is just, you're experimenting with things. You, you, you'd like, you're thinking about it. You're just like, hmm, mm. maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I will. A cop and a hobo. A hobo cop. Upsides can be disheveled. Doesn't have to wash. Carries himself with uh, lurched gusto. Doesn't have to wash. Hobo cop doesn't need anyone or anything. No one can kick you out because you don't have a home. Never pay rent again. Never again hear you're drunk. Why did you even come here? Harry, go home. You're embarrassing yourself. Downsides are, are there any? <laughs> I mean, seriously, give me one. <laughs> um, you lock them in. You lock them in, but does it make you I think you, you have hobo? to spend a level up point. I kind of don't mind to it. To discard a thought. Eh? A point to discard thoughts. Yeah. But, like, what I'm saying is doing this, because I'm seeing lots of slots down here, doesn't make me doesn't make me lose the ability to do more. There's many slots. I can be a hobo cop and I can be, like, uh, Detective Cousteau on the list there. Or, mm -hmm. Like, what are the options over here? Look at, oops. I'm just gonna read through the names because they're interesting. But how do I... I'm getting lost all the time here. Over, over map. No, so it's over here. Okay, there we go. This is this one, the weird one, the celebrity or kind of like. Anyways, Hobocop. Then there's. Oh, they don't let me read them very well. Oh shit! Yeah. Um. After the initial three, you have to spend skill points to unlock more slots. Oh my god, there's a lot. You have to spend skills to unlock new slots. There's one called. The homosexual underground. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I mean, I don't mind like Cobalt Cop at all. So you can be multiple things. I can be Hobo Cop, and I can also be like, you know, the inexplicable feminist agenda. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> or have one. Anyways, uh, so if I get Hobo Cop, I will get negative one composure, ungangly, and rambling. So I lose a point. Is taking on bad attributes in order to have, you know, uh, some benefits. Meaning, what are the benefits I mean, then? they don't really say what the benefits are. They say kind of like a fun little yeah problem and then solution. It says there. What's that? I don't get the solution till I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the benefits are till I finish the thought. Mm -hmm. So cool. And you you have, have minus one composure while you're working just on it. What, while you're I, okay, I'm gonna it. start this one because I'm interested. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. This is super cool. Yeah, it says temporary research bonus. So the bonus is negative one composure, but presumably maybe sometimes you actually do get a bonus. So yeah, a like bonus. that one is plus one head in the clouds. <laughs> mm-hmm. Plus one something. Okay. Cool. How long is this game? I read 20 hours. That's cool. Like, then it's like multiple playthroughs are much more achievable than like if it was a 50 hour experience. Mm -hmm. That was based on 91 people playing it. I can just talk to Kim at any time. Yeah, maybe we should save. Okay. He doesn't have any. Thing to say. Good call. It's nice that the save's quick. If you press left on your D-pad, you can heal up. The door is closed. Still no answer. We're doing canvassing. Still Half nothing. This kind of gives you a quick glance. He doesn't like where this is going. Like it's, I'm not being desperate. No, I'm not it's being desperate. It's business. I have my business partner with me. We have to investigate. Yeah, but if you invite me in, I can ask him to leave. <laughs> uh oh. This is I'm where investigating I live. My... Kim tries not to look at the broken bathroom door. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet, or the weird suitcase on the hat rack, or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just t 
too morbid to ignore. <laughs> Three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are great. Yes. This the writing is so up our alley. Yes. This one's too clever. Uh -huh. I mean, <laughs> I did it my way. I'm, I need to just not. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Okay, he takes a step toward the door, like he'd like to leave. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh... The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, That's the bed. but it's yours. Yeesh. The fan stands still. The switch must be broken. Can I redo this now? A mirror hangs on the bathroom locked, wall. Because it's impossible, it, I guess. That's why face. it's locked. Because I don't have the ability to... Yeah, that door. Can you not go through that door? No. He just jingles it. Okay. All right, let's go outside and investigate that body. Move the plot along. Should we take a quick stretch break? Yeah. All right, That's guys. a great idea. We're going to take a quick stretch snack break here, and we'll be back to play a little bit more of this. I'm fucking loving this. Dude, this, this is, is incredible. So good. It's so good. I'm so glad I knew, like, basically remembered nothing going into it. Yeah. Just like the dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so good. Uh -huh. Really, really well written. Jesus. All right, we'll be back for a little bit more, I think, after a quick break here. Stretch and maybe a little snack. Uh, stay tuned, everybody. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back. We just got a couple of beers. It's 3.30 here. At, like, I have to justify myself. Justify myself to you. Honestly, all the descriptions of alcohol, despite it being of this destitute, like, but like, I don't know, just like, kind of want a drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I it am looks like a nice day out there, though. We'll probably wrap up in a little bit so I can go enjoy it. It does look really kinda, nice. It looks today. warm and... And Sunny. the cherry blossoms are like still falling mm -hmm. right now when the wind blows. They like. <gasps> Beautiful. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to. I'd at least to like to wrap up today's show by having a general feel for the actual mystery at hand here. Mm -hmm. So our guy is at this point where he feels. I, I would say, based on the reactions from the lady and. Kim here, my partner, it might be a poor th choice to continue down the line of complete aloofness, mm -hmm. and we do have a kind of idea for what's going on now. Right. Also, especially since these people don't seem to offer me anything. Oh, we have to go through the uh, hole in the fence outside, which I apparently made. Probably will make me... What? The cafeteria we can't let us in? Yeah, I don't know why. I think he said he lost the gear in this place. I think that's what he said. Let's do 3D key out there. Mm. Mm. We should get used to, since they love it in Japan so much, using the military clock. Yeah. The 24 hour clock. It's 13.30, y'all. Wait, no, it's not. I mean, it makes it's a lot more sense. Yes, it does. Heap of snow melts in the wheelbarrow. I was hoping it was some yeah. <laughs> Street sign reads, fuck the police. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? You sound surprised? We don't see a lot of police around here. That's I have all. Some questions? Of course. What with can I directions. Help you with? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Where to? For a dead body. East, what? Oh, just asking where about everything is. Mm. I'm looking for a dead body. Oh, that. That's right there, in the yard. Mm. She's relieved someone has come for it. Finally. What's up, Mark? There's the pier. The Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements, not a lot really. Where am I right now? What do you mean? Just tell me where we are. We're in Martinez, sir. This intersection is called 
roundabout north, I think. What is in the east? The harbor gates. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. Mm. What? What? Three T's? Yeah. What's in the south? Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. On the other side of the canal? Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market. But that got closed down ages ago. What's in the west? It's just water. <clears throat> no, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. Thanks. No problem. What is the fuck the police business? Who are you exactly? Who are you? Me? I am just a gardener. <laughs> Not that clever. <laughs> cool, what are you doing here? I'm working. Working on what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. There's discomfort. She stops mid-sentence. What? Well, as you already know, <laughs> there's a corpse there, hanging from a tree. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. What? Excuse me? What's with the fuck the police sign? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. The street sign says fuck the police. Oh. Well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. That's fine. I just wanted to congratulate their penmanship. Okay. Of course. See ya. Her gloves. You get the feeling that we need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure. Keep Thank them. You. I have another pair. Oh, no visible annoyance. Sweet. I love you. Mm, too soon. Too soon. Like it's not, it's not like a some like kind of steampunk world or anything like that. But it's got like that steampunk alternate design aesthetic that you like, yeah, you know, just alternate earth. This must be the infernal machine that toy from oblivion, the Caprice Kinema motor carriage. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. You know, I uh, when I used to trike on my trike, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I used to think about like how much more comfortable it would be to drive cars the way that, that was one of the original designs, was levers. Mm. Not steering wheel. Interesting. What's with the wheel? Like, why don't we use levers? What's like, with the wheel? Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, you sit back and you just go like, that's a, that, you know. Are you more... Turning, turning. Attention, uh, I'm not like attentive this? when I sit. It feels so unnatural to have your arms all the way up like that. Just like do it like this, man. Yeah, plus anybody who's like not this. a fucking nerd goes you know, like. You're super like, cool if like you don't even hold it. You just like. Don't even make contact with it. Yeah, you just hover and blow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blow the steering wheel. We don't own a car. <laughs> no, I'm not sure exactly how this stuff works. <clears throat> Livery refers to uniforms. Okay, so they're saying it's kind of like the, the, the uniform painting of the, or like the, it's... Hmm. Pick up the radio. Oh yeah, this will help me get new ID. Pull out the, pull out toolbox? 
Run your fingers over one of the steering levers. Tap on the fuel preheater gauge. <laughs> this will make him know I'm cool. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch labeled heat. Is this voice actor fucking Kratos? Hmm. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Translation. We're not going anywhere, right? Shut up, Kim. Alternative translation. Don't even think you could drive my MC. Hmm. Motor carriage. Run your fingers over one of the steering levers. The white suede like feels luxurious things. under the touch, and the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. Hmm. The metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. Are you propositioning him? He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Uh, I need Work the pry bar. Is the pro tips in the loading screen told me. Mm. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you think. I can just take them all. This is gonna make him mad. Rubber handled chain cutters. Oh. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, though the cutters in your hand. It's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue. Blue. I got a flashlight too. The pull out tool box slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hook. The frequency tabler lights up and the green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Mommy. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st prison here. I'm putting him on. Come in, dispatch! Come in, dispatch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat what he said. This is official so Alice Vetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Could you connect me to the 41st Precinct? I need a connection with the 41st Lazarus. I need you to connect to my civilian, a Sylvie. She may have reported a murder. We don't really know that, though. It will take just a moment, officer. Her voices fade out into the familiar radio static. <laughs> Gottlieb, what do you want? Just a routine checkup. I was told to call the Lazarus. People were worried about me. <laughs> I'm a bad way, Doc. Real bad. Oh, it's you. The man is unpleasantly surprised. Was that a snarl or a suppressed groan? No love for you here. I've lost my memory, all of it. With all the damage you've been dealing yourself with drugs and alcohol, I'm not surprised. There is no surprise in his voice, only careless superiority. You're not surprised? Cool. Anything else? What else? I'm not a brain doctor. Look at the bright side. You've got a whole new life now. Use it wisely. It's hard to say if he doesn't believe you, or doesn't care. Is there anything you can do for me? What? You want me to do blood work for you again? Tell you just how bad things really are across the board? You want another rundown of everything collapsing inside your body? <laughs> that sounds like something <laughs> I can't handle right now. Yeah, I want the truth. You want the real, honest-to-God truth? Stop drinking, eat magnesium, and vitamin D. Okay. Our station is not our retirement. Stop raining. We don't have the funds to deal with rock stars past their prime. We really might be a rock And no, I don't want to hear a political commentary on the topic. In fact, Maybe I was a big I deal cop at one point. Mm -hmm. Some idiot has glued his eyelids shut with cyanoacrylate. It looks like McTorson. 
Is that a picture of Mac? Mac Torsen. It's not fucking cryoacolyte. It's super glue, Doc. It's weird that that was in voice acted. It's. That's odd. Mm -hmm. Um. Fuck you. You know who I am? Yes, there's no end to the misfortunes fate has seen fit to rain upon me. Sure, sure, but can you tell me about myself as in who I am? Who? You are? You lost your human visage a while back. Now let's get on with it. I've got more important things to do. Hmm. That's more abstract than I expected. Yeah. I think I've had a heart attack. And you survived it. Congratulations. Get that fucking asshole. Well, even better. Anything Are else? You mobile? Yes, even better. I wouldn't worry about that. Officers your age have coronary trouble all the time. Also, death is a natural part of this life. This is a harsh, capitalistic world. Accept it. The body is an object, and objects break down. Damn, man. Do what good you can with yours, before the rest goes too. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye-bye. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh, I need to report. What do I need to report? Just oh, my, this is how I get yeah. my ID back. It's just a whole crack of stuff. It's so weird that he's called the Lazarus. Our doctor, or like, apparently. Mm -hmm. I should probably hear an old man greet you. 10 to 10 five. This is 41st. Uh, come in. Over. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. How do we see all that? In front of him is a box shaped apparatus. With is this a an array video of radio? Wires and antennas. Yes. The radio switchboard. Uh, it's a spree de cords because I know that's what he's doing because I have this like cop The now. man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop. And cops know relay code. 10 4, station 41. I got urgent business. Over. 10 4, message received. 10 5, relay message. What's your status? Over. Just reporting in, over. 1018, state your message, sir. I need to report my badge missing. I'm in dire need of financial assistance. <laughs> this might sound odd, but there's personal details I'd like to discuss. 1010, transmission complete. Uh, I need my report my badge missing. 109, over. My badge, I can't find it here. Basically, it's gone. 10 4, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. Over. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. You what? He lost his badge? Hey, who is this? This is communication officer Jules Pidieu, sir. Over. No, the other one. You mean your partner? Over. Oh, Sam. What is he saying? <coughs> He's asking who you are. I'm his goddamn partner. It's your partner, satellite officer Bitmar, sir. Over. Did he lose his memory along with his fucking badge? Yes. God, yes. Who lost his badge? Oh, Oof. Manchester. I don't like you. Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller, oh, Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. <laughs> Is he joking? He's got that voice, like that stupid clown voice. He like, says fighting off laughter, so he... Oh, he's not. just fucking around. Yeah. But, like, he's also using that... It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller? Dick Mullen is not your name. <laughs> it's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. Um. Come on, Audrey. Tell <laughs> him to stand. <laughs> I need to use it as a mediator. <laughs> uh, ha ha, I've lost my badge. Like, I'm the fucking first officer to do that. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him and laughs uh, sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it. Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite officer Zikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. Over. Mom, take us. Mom, take us. 
Come on, operator, tell him to stop. He's asking you to stop. Says this is serious. Of course it's serious. He lost his fucking badge. Satellite officer Vic Mark Conkers, losing your badge is serious. Over. Can we just move on? 104, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! Oh, okay, it's a, more of a Bostonian accent. It sounded weird before. Mm. Mac Torsen, what's going on? Super Supercopter lost his badge. This guy's everywhere. He lost his what now? Why didn't they voice yeah. out the badge? He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Didn't you glue your eyes shut earlier? <laughs> you making fun <laughs> of me? Um, yeah, might as well. The man is laughing too hard to form coherent sentences. The only words you can make out are lost and badge. Stop saying this. He asked you to please stop saying he lost his badge. Why did he find it? The, the room. It seems like that type. Mm. The room at the other end of the line erupts in volcano. Oh, well. Sergeant Corson was wondering if you found your badge yet. Um, you don't have a comeback. Sorry. It's hard to think like this. Mm. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. And your laughter in the background. Alright, fuck you guys. Him again. I didn't get that. Over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult for him to hear you. New heights even for Captain Sober! Ask him. The speaker gasps for air. Ask him if he lost his gun too. Oh, the room shit. roars with laughter. Sergeant Dorson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Over. Check your pockets. Check your. Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? <laughs> I don't have. Oh god, it's not okay, here. Okay, it's gone. Your gun is most definitely gone. <laughs> don't sweat it, Bratton. You. Don't need a gun to have. Oh, this is about my necktie talking. Uh. This is my craziness talking. So this is like a, a path I could go down. You don't need to have a gun to have fun. We can still have fun. It's not all over. Then I'm coming, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Drama. Convince them that you didn't lose your gun. Yeah. Lying over the phone. It's easy. Just I only have say to convince the operator. Like it's the truth, and then it becomes it. No, of course I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't. Thank God for that. That would have been a nightmare. I don't even want to imagine the poor prick who has to relay that kind of news to the captain. Oh. Losing his badge is bad enough. Tell him to find it and fast. We can't have some gangbanger running around with it. We were glad to hear you've not lost your gun, officer. You need further assistance. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Listen, I've actually lost my gun too. <laughs> Then uh, for I know I already wrote it in a report. <laughs> it will stay on my desk for a few days. Over. Oh, he didn't buy it. He already yeah. wrote it in. <laughs> I'm in. Thanks, buddy. This buddy's gonna delay on it so I have a chance to find it. Yeah. This is a good guy. I like him. Yeah. Jules Pidio. I'm in dire need of financial assistance. Then for I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but. What does he want now? He's asking for money. Remember, this isn't a real police officer. This is a militia. Uh. So they're almost like their own little organized organized company for profit. Is he fucking kidding? I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. Right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional sound, sir. Over. All right, it's paramount that the investigation that you grant me more money. Please, I'm begging you here. I don't have a place to sleep tonight. <laughs> no, I'm a hobo. I don't need to. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. No funds. No, I'm just going to use my authority. Mm -hmm. He says it's important to the case. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. Request denied, sir. Over. <laughs> okay, no funds. Anything else, sir? Over. Uh, I need some personal details to discuss. Uh, okay, then four, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Over. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. 
Was there a thing about? You're going to be looking at a straitjacket if you tell everyone you lost your memory. Be smart about this. My intuition was Ask right on that. If he's there alone. Ten four, sir. I can trust like him if he's there alone. He seems nice. Mm. Hold on, are you alone in the room? I need some confidential information about myself. I don't know if you got my badge description and report to you. Read it to me, name, rank, date of birth. He's smarter than this. He already knew that I lost my game. Yeah. Please refer to me with my full name in the future. That's mean. He's nice. Any news about my uh, family? <laughs> Have I ever told you about my life before the RCM? <laughs> That would probably go to a drama check, and we've already failed that on him. Uh, Even though we succeeded, we still failed it with him. So, I just need to be honest with this guy. That's a negative, sir. I got a 10 12 visitors present here. Over. Yeah, then he'll know. This guy's intuition's so good, he'll probably know what I'm getting at. What? What is it? He's still on the line? He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Ravosholian Cavalry Force. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. Any news on my, uh, family? Then, uh, excuse me, sir. Over. You probably don't want to continue on this road. Uh, nothing, I'm right. again, sir. I didn't get that. 10 9, over. Have you heard about my... Have I ever told you about my life before the RCM? 10-4. Well, that's, uh... Does he actually want something, or is he hell-bent on disrupting our work? He asked if he ever told me about his days before joining the RCM. For God's sake, cut this shit out! Tell him to stop wasting time and be a goddamn policeman for a change. Sir, Satellite Officer Vickmar says... I heard so, um, was there anything else? This is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and say this, yeah? I guess. I need to know my okay. full name. I guess. I mean, why can't Kim tell me? You should know who's. Anyways. The 9 repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. My name. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Aww. Please just say my name, Jules. Uh, what? What is it? What can he possibly still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. <laughs> Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. All right. Understood, sir. Over. All right. Put your on here. Ten, ten. Over and out. Huh. 18 kilometers to the south, from my precinct, but why wouldn't he know which officer he is supposed to meet a up small with by crowd has gathered around communication officer but. Jules Old Boy Pidier, around a dozen cops. Oh. Okay. They're all gonna laugh at us. The small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter when Officer Judith Minow enters. Her left arm is in bandages, and her hair trimmed short. What is going on here? Did something happen? She asks, startled John Vicquamere, turns to her and says, What happened is my partner made contact. It's not good. He's lost his badge and oh, his shit, arm. they know too. He seemed confused, delirious even. Mac, the torso Torson is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely, and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Chester McLean, so he's doing this. near the entrance. Never heard it referred to as that. Yeah. Yeah, Mullen was fucked all right, sound fucking drunk to me. Yeah, Max right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before, he started begging for money. It was... Enough! None of this is funny. It's fucking sad. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us, goddamn this. We must help him. Judith Minot looks down at her neatly polished black shoes. There's a quiet firmness in her voice when she speaks. We must help him. Yeah? How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on carriages? He's a lost man. 
I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. The crowd in the room has started fidgeting uncomfortably. Something's trying to slip out. Someone's, Someone's trying to slip out unnoticed. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. Hmm. He sighs hmm. heavily and turns towards the room. This the shit key. does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain. Or anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. I guess I can hold off the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. Hmm. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? What is the Sylvie thing? Did we ref she may have reported a murder. What was, when did we get that information? Yeah. Click me to the 41st. Just a moment, I'll be. 10 4, come in, officer, over. Mm, same thing. Uh, Roger that, 10 10, over and out. This is Precinct 57, how may I? Gart you? mentioned her, all right, uh, so okay. I do not have this information. Of course. What is the number, officer? Kim, did Gart give you Sylvie's number? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005. One. Received. Hold on, officer. <laughs> Start slapping the machine, marching rev with them on you. Okay. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a bit to get to the phone. Just wait. Relax. Interesting. So if I was more high strung, it, this might have ended up being a bad situation mm -hmm. right here. That was the, uh, I forget which card that was, that was the, anyways, we've seen it a few times already. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello? Creeps it through static, sounds like she's a million miles away from here. Hello, is this, this is the police calling, I have some questions for you about your last days of work. So she was working in the, okay. <laughs> I'd All right, yeah, I guess I'll just, like, try to play it. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? You can hear resentment in her tone. She's not thrilled to be talking to you again. Hmm. Why'd you quit your job? Uh, was it you who called the police? Have you seen my badge? Have you seen my gun? <laughs> I need to. Yes, I know who you are. Oh. You're a police officer. <laughs> this exact conversation has happened before. Establishing authority before this young girl seems to have been important to you in the past. Don't go there again. Thank you, Rhetoric. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep <laughs> my badges in this thing. I'm so pathetic. Oh, no, I uh, haven't. Sorry. This <laughs> is so good playing this character pathetic. Please, no, not this again. Everyone saw your cool gun. <laughs> I showed you my gun. When did it happen? Oh my, my cool God. gun. You were trying to impress some people with it. <laughs> Everyone was eating, and it feels like it's gonna be super serious and noir. But like, you can totally make this character into this lame ass weird dude. Yeah. And what did I do? What did I do? You were waving it around in everyone's face. <laughs> begging them to describe it. You said it calms you, and then you started making suicide jokes. Holy oh, shit. shit. It got pretty graphic. Oh, those again. I have been trying to wean you off them. <laughs> God damn it, drama. You know, when you put your gun, your actual gun, on your temple and pretend to shoot your brains out, off of that, people don't people like, like that. that. Oh. Yeah. Mm, I remember this. You were screaming things like, my brains are all over the wall, painting them red. I won't be seeing it, cause these are my brains. I can't see without my brains. Very nice. <laughs> these are jokes. There. I'm thinking Good again Lord. about Brooklyn Nine Nine, <laughs> the tattoo that that uh, what's his name gets. Uh, Hitchcock. Hitchcock. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> supposed to be blowing the smoke off his gun. He thinks that you put the gun in your mouth. Uh, 
Very nice visuals there. All right. Some poor sod was trying to eat his pudding while he was screaming, spit flying, imitating the mercy shot right next to him. Spat some in his food. I don't think he touched it after. I should have killed myself. Why would I threaten to kill myself? I mean, look at this world. I would love to stay. Okay, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, but what yeah, happened to my gun? gun? <laughs> no idea. All I know is next year we're waving around money instead. Saying things like, big bucks cannot lie, and guns can't buy money, but money can always buy guns. <laughs> it almost looked like you pawned it. But believe me, I did not ask. Uh, I just want to see... Please, no, you were trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating, and... You were waving at... Oh, those again. You know, mm. Some poor sod was trying to eat his pudding um, while you were screaming, spit flying, imitating the mercy shot right next to him. Diet, inner dial, Spat some in his food. Mm -hmm. Me neither. Oh, I said that out loud. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna say this. Yeah. Why would I try to? Kill there is silence on the other end of the line. I don't want to say the first line. No yeah. idea. All I know is next you were waving around money instead. It almost looked like Bucks you pawned it. But believe me, I did not ask. Why did you quit at the early You mean, why did I leave the bar? You Honestly, heard those I'm tense. not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Why not? Mm, why are you... It's so interesting, too, that, like, logic comes in. It chimes in to say, like, you know... You might want to go this direction, but you yeah. don't have to. Um. I, uh, let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. Who? You know who. Who? You think you hear a sliver of accusation in her words. Is it us? Don't be paranoid. She's obviously talking about someone else, not you. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Volition's trying to push me down the right path. Yeah. Should I listen to it? It's up to you, man. I just love playing this guy pathetic. I really don't want to talk about this. Let's just forget about this, okay? All right. Maybe, I don't know. are coming back? I just know I have to take some time off right now. Did you call, was it you who called the police? No, not me. But why didn't you? What? Of course it bothered me, but I thought the Union already knew about the court. You should have called us the police. No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. You hear just the receiver in her hand. You know, what do you mean the Union would get angry? What the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Interesting that the Union exists in this, like, Capitalism rules all world. Mm. Garbage. Wait, Kim, lower your microphone. Is she speaking the truth? The union is the law around here? I'm the authority around here. It looks like my limit... There's a limit to my authority, then. Tell me, why exactly did you let a corpse hang in your own backyard for weeks instead of calling us? It's only been there seven days. It hasn't been there for It week. was there for four days before uh, they called the police. And then we dicked around for two days, and this is the third, seventh day. Wait, <laughs> I need to, I, I really like acting this stupid to Kim. And look at our portrait. Like down they here, see. they haven't seen this one. See if you can show it to them, because uh, it's pretty funny. Like the one we saw earlier, the smiling was good enough. This is like amazing. Sorry. I'm kind of playing it to this portrait. Wow, you really have to move back, eh? Okay? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. This crooked smile, this sad like, and he's got mutton chops too. Mm -mm. He's definitely down on his luck. All right. Wait, Kim. Is she speaking the truth? The union's allowed around here? Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto police by the Dog Workers Union. Words are not necessary to feel the lieutenant's discontent for the situation. Mm, looks like there's a limit to my authority then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, why exactly did you let a corpse hang in the back? I... I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. 
show her the error of her ways. No, don't push her. It sounds as if she's about to cry. Uh-oh. That's cool. Yeah. Let me get this straight. What others? The other people who live around here. Local people, I... I didn't want trouble. Her voice is resigned and weak. What trouble? You don't live here. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt with, well, by the Union, internally. Please, I just didn't want any trouble. Wait, you ignored the law to save your own skin? I... I didn't know I had to report it. I... I thought someone would take him down eventually. It's okay. Yes, I know. It's just... Was there anything else? Do you know who made the call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> Not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. So the Union has a phone, and there's one further down the coast. Got it. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later. Okay. Yeah, go on. Bye-bye. I do hope so. Empathy. Please, don't I have call me empathy. again. Bye. Wait, why does she seem angry with you? Wanted to get away from you. Plus one. Oh, it's a plus one on yes. the... You have obviously done something to upset her at the Whirling in Rags when she was still working there. Wait, before you go, you're mad at me, right? Tell me what I what did I do? I can't remember anything. I'm not mad. It's just you were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then the skewer thing happened. Shit, it just made me want you to quit. Fuck it up. <laughs> uh, what skewer thing? The stuffed bird, the great skewer. You threw it against the wall while screaming, <laughs> fuck that bird, and laughing like a maniac. <laughs> I mean, there was a time where I could have done this. Yeah. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since. <laughs> 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 that bird laughing at me? <laughs> Fucking My school. Littlest brother used to think birds were laughing at him when he was like five. <laughs> That sounds like me already. <laughs> sound like anything. I love birds. Bitch bird was <laughs> coming to her. Why do I end up screwing anything up? Uh, this. I love birds. Yes, well. The static on the radio says just silly doesn't have a comment. So you're telling me I was the one who made you quit? Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen so many assholes in this place. Shit. I've had sailors fighting. Union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. <laughs> you. Every single night for two months. Oh, not literally glued. No. Aww, that was really fun. <laughs> yes. <I> mean. <laughs> for a second, I thought. Um, I wanted what I did. Go on. I want to know what I did. Well, you were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. I mean, you burned. Even about little things lot. like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I I hate it now. Wait, wait, which song? We Go On by the OO. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry about the song. I'm Officer Sorry. The hell with that song. Then there was your room. Your project. An experiment to see how bad it can get in there. <laughs> Nod solemnly to Kim. <laughs> I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant. And I don't want to know. And then you screamed something about how you're actually a real cool guy. <laughs> No one understands it. One of the coolest guys there is. The coolest guy in Jamrock. Something about disco, too. That's it? <laughs> I mean, it sounds intense. Yeah, it does. And then I had to deal with your toilet. 
The one you clogged with police documents, <laughs> causing water damage downstairs in the kitchen. I mean, this is, like, is, is there anything, like, quite as entertaining as s sort of debriefing yourself on your own antics the night after? Or doing it as a group? Yeah, doing it as a group, trying to, like, go over we, exactly what everything that happened. We totally got Subway. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's usually more interesting than that. That's true. But, like, trying to, like, ascertain your motives for some of the things you did. <laughs> I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, <laughs> threatening to kill yourself. Why was karaoke yeah. first? I, uh, what police document? The Wait, ones what? I had to rent out of your toilet. What happened to them? I, damn it, I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I do. Resentment gives way to concern in your voice. Especially when there's a hurricane loose. It's your fault for losing them, not mine. Something in you wants to immediately forget about this, as if there was a reason you threw them away. Okay, I get it. I wasn't a very good tenant. <laughs> no, you really weren't. <laughs> you were simply the worst. Girl, listen up a little. <laughs> Do you have a party? Oh my uh, God. I don't know what to say. Well, you're the worst tavern wench I've ever seen. Damn. That's me. I'm truly sorry for everything. <laughs> I was trying to show you the world of tomorrow, the great panic at, I think this one. Yeah. I'm truly sorry for everything. God, I, I knew I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again, and let's pretend it never happened. Oh yeah, I need a song. What else did I sing beside the, mm. oh, oh, I need, I'm looking for a song. Oh, all, all sorts of things. From disco, rock too. So much disco and rock. <laughs> Maybe you can help me identify one particular song. Which one would that be? It was really sad. Sad? I think the one you mean is the smallest church in San Sound. Richard, that right up. <laughs> Her bass voice carries a tone of disappointment. Interesting. You still have to find it, however. Thank you for talking with me. Take care. You hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then... The already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Please connect me to her again. <laughs> Just a second, officer. It'll be my light on the line for you. Yes, hello? It's the police again. Oh, great. <laughs> what else do you need, detective? That's it. Nothing. You hear the call breaking. Anything else I can help right, you with, I'm officer? Done. 57. Oh. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. Oh. Closing the door. And save. Yeah. That was a lot. Thanks for the reminder, Mr. It feels like an always sunny episode. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yeah, hey, that's a nice little train. Ancient mountain doesn't pump water. There's a tree in it. Some great tonic forces crack the pavement like an eggshell. Was this recent? She talked about a hurricane. Yeah. Whoa. The damage looks like it could have been caused by an earthquake. Oh, I had a choice there between two things. No, Wait, you can what? still pick that, I think. What do you want to know? Good. Maybe sea monster did this to the cousin? Get to the like there's the we'll talk to these guys later. I wanna just see the body before we end the show. Can I have my camera? Oh, I could do. Yeah, when I this oh. push back. So that's over here, I think. I have a hard time believing yeah. this is 20 hours? <laughs> it's like we've spent five hours and we haven't even begun. I mean four hours. You guys have made in there. Oh, the hurricane was you, I think. Oh, that insinuated. makes sense, yes. Mm. Winch mechanism for oxidization for some years has been oxidizing. Mm. There's things back there, but I can't get to them because that winch is all 
between stuff. Oh! oh. <laughs> Kid's ladder's rickety, but still climbable. We found it. Someone's trying to grow herbs in the green mouse. This looks like a lynching. Is what they the, the person who mm -hmm. initially called it in said. He's wearing. He's got what? Are those robotic legs? What the fuck? Yeah. What's this kid doing out here? Yeah, seriously. Get out of here. I don't like him. What the? The hangman, the corpse, looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face has been around. Does not look human. Swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue is ball, like a ball gag in his mouth. Turn away, because I have a thing popping up. There it is. Ladders for kids wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. So I'm guessing on the PC you just click these things. Yeah, Kuno, fuck him up! Said that kid. Oh, did he? Yeah. Alright. Look down. Cargo belt twists his neck in an unnatural angle. The body appears stiff, letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps from even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Very low chance to get, uh, let go of your nose without throwing up. It's so attempting it and failing will make me throw up. That's the thing. These checks don't just fail. They have consequences mm -hmm. for failing. I have been holding L1. Yeah. How long to beat says a typical run with side things? Side things is going on 20 hours. I did look up just the story. Hours. The smell is Sorry. repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind. Try to walk away. Now we have compass and Too late. On our it's hands. impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet. And your throat stings from the stomach. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. Thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. You think ammonia would help? If you can handle the headache, some officers use it to deal with cadaverine odor. Where do we get it? That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. Okay. If she doesn't have any, there might be some in the fridge store nearby. Why is it so bad? Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! I feel like I know that voice. Mm. But that's what I always feel when I hear that voice. I thought it the same. I thought like when we watched the Moomins thing that that girl, it's her, it's that voice. Mm, little mice. Yeah. Hey, so we've been monitoring you internally, and now we Says know we. your corpo type. Wait, there are corpo types. Okay, what? Wait, what am I? Guess. Cool cop. <laughs> Got a weapon it's a cup. Weapon cup. <laughs> Sorry, cop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm sorry you had to monitor me. <laughs> yes. oh, I'm sorry you had to monitor me. Okay, just for the length of this short demonstration, please say something that isn't. I'm sorry. Yes. Sorry, cop. What sorry, is it? cop. Yes. Sorry, cop. The cop who's sorriest. <laughs> Let's make it official then, shall we? A huge lack of enthusiasm going on in here. Okay. <laughs> okay, what other types of car? What are the other types? Won't the other car types be jealous? I'm sorry. <laughs> Opt in. You know, actually, I'm not sorry. I'm changing my mind. Fucking, they should be sorry. <laughs> what are the other types? Oh, you know, apocalypse. Superstellar, the advanced interesting cop, liquid shadow cop. But you're too sorry to say those things. So, 
Here we go. Fucking, they should be sorry. Yes, yes. They should Impotent be sorry. rage and lamentation. Let's wrap it up. Uh, I'm sorry. Of course you are. It's okay. Rigorous See if you can get something out of this, like info. Or maybe every time you say you're sorry, you get a million bucks. <laughs> that won't happen. Fuck you, logic. Uh, so, oh, I got these things. Red trip pry bar with a kerosene tea. Heavy duty engraved just below the handle. It's satisfyingly heavy, perhaps one of the most useful tools to carry around. The meanest looking pair of cutters you've ever seen. Made in Gotwell by worshiping my little chain wire bar fence and getting your way. Yeah. Police flashlight bearing a little bit of grants and a little uh, dynamo packed on the handheld limitation, blah blah blah. Okay. Um, and then I have these oh, latex right. gloves. I can put them on. Interfacing. Bye bye, bugs. Wow. Looking good. Items. Lieutenant Sanchez. Given to you by the lieutenant. Uh, one of the corners is adorned by a tiny embroidered portier. It's just an item worth almost a dollar. <clears throat> okay. Uh, anyways, track down my stuff. Uh, so here I can commit to sorry cop, rigorous self critique, negative one authority, embarrassment to the party. Uh, research time is six hours. Temporary research bonus is negative one authority. I can I can afford that. You're one sorry of piece of shit. No, I, oh, it takes it away from my. I only have one in authority, actually. Mm. Cop, patient, penitent, a flagellant, cop, monk. This is one... This is not the right line of work for you. You should get groveling at the feet of the feudal lord, providing lurid evidence against yourself at the Mazovian show trial, or ripping the flesh from your back with a cat of nine tails. Whichever made you this way, you can't be damn sure that it wasn't your fault. <laughs> Do it. It was your fault. Do it. Really. Criticize yourself. Who knows? Might undercover something hidden importance of your guilt ridden past. Sure. I have a duplicity in me here. Hobo and this takes sorry six cop. Six hours. Yeah. Is it equipped? I think so, yes. Yeah. Good shit. My copo type was the law. Because <clears throat> you were th too authoritative? It's funny, because I want to be authoritative. It's my personality type, but I can't bring myself to be an authoritative cop. Yeah. I fucking hate cops. Let's talk about oh, this. you also got a skill point. Did I? Well, this might be where we end today anyways. I mean, we've gone for a long time. My butt's starting to hurt sitting here. Um, but, bad, but so I can go in here and like so I could afford another authority, but maybe I don't want to go that direction since it means cop authority. Why does it say right in the mouth hole up there? Right in the mouth hole. That one might be what the kid's saying. Maybe. It's just appearing up there right now. I'm liking this inland empire. Hunches, gut feelings, dreams, and waking. So like, yeah, I kind of like this imagination route. Dreamers, paranatural investigators, mental creators. That is my archetype. That is my personality. Mental creators. Inland Empire is unfiltered wellspring of imagination, emotion, and foreboding. It enables you to grope your way through invisible dimensions of reality, gaining insight into which sight can't see, what's really going, what do these enig enigmatic riddles mean to the world of fate. World fate. At high levels, inland empire animates your in the inanimate. You'll have conversations ah, with your right. clothing, conversation with so yeah. So it's interesting. Even though I didn't put any points in inland, this one keeps talking to me. Mm-hmm. And it allows my tie to talk to me. Psyche mm -hmm. base plus five, learned skill plus one. So I get an extra learned skill, bonus from items plus one. But I didn't even read those bonus no, those literal me bonuses neither. down there. So like authority gives you. Plus five psych base. What? But like that's what I have. That's that's on all of them. I think yeah. it was just saying that's what you have and so Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Is that just a, yeah. If you go down, it'll be 2-1. Yeah. But what it is saying, signature skill plus one. What's a signature skill? Bonus from items, zero. Bonus from thoughts, negative one. So I lose bonus from thoughts because of my authoritativeness. You have a high psyche, so you have a high passive bonus to it. So that's why you're getting kind of like... Ah, uh, these are these passive bonuses to these things. Psyche. Yeah. Mmm. Fist of Fury, we are loving this. It is so good. It's interesting, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, intellect has been chiming in. Helping me out. And then the things we have failed on... Oh yeah, this has been coming in every so often. Half light, yeah. Shivers was there as well once. I can't remember if we failed it. But. I want to put points into the horniness trait. I think it's it's got some interesting yeah directions to go. Love and be loved, man. Letter R, where's the crown or the ribbon? This is light above the I'm gonna talk to the kid. This little piece of shit. Kuno's got this! The boy's throwing rocks at the dead body. Can't be older than 12. If there yes. ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Oh yeah, not for goofy, Kuno! He kinda changed his voice. That's a different kid. Oh! oh. Yeah, it was a different kid. So he's yelling over at this one. Yeah. <laughs> hey kid, please business. Right in the dick, Kino! Get him right in the dick! The children ignore you. Where are these other kids? Over the Love fence. it in the dick. <laughs> they go <laughs> to blank it out. Mm. Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Stop using slurs in my crime scene. That's not how we do it. <laughs> Stop throwing rocks in my crime scene. Fuck that! Pino, yeah! Right in the mouth hole! They pay you no heed or pretend not to notice you. Shits himself? The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. First to himself in the third person. Kim, what should we do? <laughs> are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? Throws another rock. He's calling us f***ed, Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. Oh my god. <sighs> Look, I got questions for you. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Irregular speech patterns, overconfidence. Could this kid be on drugs? This warrants further investigation into this Kuno. I'm convinced now that, like, our na inner narrator is uh, Chief Holt. Eh? The body. What do you know about it? Crime scene, you kids often play in this yard. I gotta ask who is Kuno? Kuno, I <laughs> threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't Can investigate I? the money now. <laughs> yeah, like a fucking volcano. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking pathetic. <laughs> Kuno. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kuno, I'm gotta be honest. Up. <laughs> you were lucky you didn't die there. <sighs> you got some advice for me. You're obviously handling it quite well. Yeah. Kuno's got some advice for you. <laughs> the kid looks. To his left, then to his right, then leans towards you. What are you? Like, 80, right? Maybe you should stop embarrassing yourself in front of a fucking kid. Hmm. Perhaps you could compress this negative energy and turn it into some sort of a kunified non-vomiter. <laughs> non <-vomiter. laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. A kunified. <laughs> That's right. Turn your weaknesses into conceptual strengths. Try it again now. Um, 
the body know anything about it, I gotta ask, who is Kuno? The bot, uh, yeah. Do you know anything about the body? It's not gonna go anywhere. Shitload pig, what's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno! <laughs> Kim, what do we wanna know? <laughs> if I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. The usual being, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Or have you seen anything suspicious? How'd he get up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see what happened. You ate Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Okay. Where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... He looks around trying to come up with something. Let's go... Oh. I don't know, some other place? Night City? Kuno is in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction. Doesn't movie. exist, you little shit. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? <laughs> you haven't been where Kuno's been? You haven't been in Kuno's head? You wanna know where Kuno was? You wanna know what Kuno's been fucking up to? I don't tell him that, Kuno! It's lame! It's not fucking lame! Kuno's building, Kuno City, Night City, Rage City, the City of Rage. That's it, and it's not lame. High concept Kuno. Lame! <laughs> That's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. This shit ain't about that. It's impossible to deduce what it is about, at least for the moment. If it's important, it'll come up later. Focus on the case. Seems suspicious. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Looks like you're a, a different faggot form of that. Now, uh. Whatever that means. The suspicious question doesn't really work in antagonistic situations. Uh. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck imp. Kuno uses the fuck imp for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. So you don't know anything? Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the popo phone. <laughs> all right. You're <gasps> testing Kuno's patience here. Mm -mm. Get lost, f I'm gonna beat the shit out of this kid. Yeah. Both of them. Uh, you often play in this yard? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? You ever climb the ladder? Look at that fucking shit. You're trying to get Kuno killed. <laughs> so would you say the ladder is unclimbable? Fuck does Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. Lieutenant takes a quick note in his notebook. It's a trap! What's in the greenhouse over there? Dunno. Kipped ass gardener used to work there. Kipped is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Eri Oppergeit descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eri Oppergeits of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. Gardener used to work there? You mean the young woman by the whirling gags, the Look, gardener? Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. He looks you in the eye and nods as if agreeing with himself. Yeah, her. What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? Starting germination. I should ask her about that. Yes, it seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Who the fuck's Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig? Boy points his chest with both thumbs. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third person perspective as a shield. You should put yourself in the third person to distance yourself from the situation. Kuno doesn't do that smart shit. Don't throw that book shit at Kuno. Kuno knows you're lying. He what? seems offended. Trying to get Kuno hooked on the book. <laughs> the boy knows he has an addictive personality. <laughs> Admirable insight for his addictive? age. Addictive? I mean... Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! Oh my god. The thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill and violent like a fire alarm. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Just 
answer the fucking questions. Help! He's digging his dick out! Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! <laughs> oh my god! Thanks it in, Kuno! Somebody, please! It's full blast now. The wind carries the message far and wide across Martinez. How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. <laughs> Just it. appeal to his reason. Shut him down with physical instrument. That's weird. But this is, I guess what they're saying is, uh, I don't know. I we guess I did put one on. point into... Oh my god. Yeah. Attempt. Punch him. Don't punch him. That's a bad idea. So, I guess a successful intimidation here will just, like, you know, sort of show him the fist, but I feel like we're going to punch him if we fail. Mm. And I accept that. <laughs> <laughs> we failed the even. <laughs> you didn't shut him down. Your fat fist didn't meet its target. Instead, it pulled you down with it. Oh my, um, God. my arm, my fucking knee. <laughs> Kuno can't believe this shit. <laughs> Can no one stop the Kuno? <laughs> it's like he's now oh, realized his superpowers. Kuno. Kuno thought you had this. What happened? <laughs> Kuno can't do anything now. Uh, he's writhing with joy like power gave, you gave him, it's too much to take. Oh my God, <laughs> no. <laughs> no one stopped the Kuno. <laughs> The whole charade was about to establish a dominance over you. It's safe to say he has succeeded. <laughs> Fuck your shoulder! Fuck your knee! Fuck your fat body up! Like, it's funny because our morale health pool is huge. We can take a lot mm. of, like, yeah, dignity hurt. Well, that's good. Stop laughing! <laughs> <laughs> the creature behind the fence makes it a point to laugh. Even harder. It's a dry laugh. Mirthless. She's not even actually enjoying this. She only wants to hurt you. Kuno made you his fucking. <laughs> Burst into a violent fit of laughter. It sounds like a flag of seagulls taking flight. The lieutenant isn't laughing at all. Uh. <laughs> so I'm going to able to think earlier myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Officer, you need to get up. This is turning into a farce. <laughs> That's what you get if you fuck with the Kuno. You get fucked up. Uh, oh. uh, can't help me. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, laugh it up. Uh, Let's just get back. Uh, I wanted to... I think you can scroll down further, can't you? kids don't know what you got. Yeah, there it is. Do you have any kind of shit you just got yourself into? Can I try again? Kuno's just gonna beat the shit out of you again? <laughs> He's clearly still in awe of himself right now. I told you not to tempt such forces. The announcer's voice is directed at you, not the gremlins. Now, how about we go and do something worth the public's time? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this pathetic playthrough. Yes. It's kind of like, I mean, we've watched some great things with uh, main characters who are like just straight up pathetic. Mm. Like main mm. heroes, like so much, you know, noir is always like that actually. Yeah. True Detective is like that. Those big gloves make it funnier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see, it's the fucking war pig. Try not to knock yourself out. I still have a case to solve and come to ask you questions. You belittled yourself before the Kuno. Now you calm. must seek his forgiveness. <laughs> You're on my crime scene. I, I can't have uncooperative civilians. Look, play a lion. I want to make this right, Kuma. <laughs> Let's make amends. Um, fucking what pig? Uh, men's cool. No, I was wrong to try to hit you. I'm sorry. You're a cool dude. Let's just try to bury the hatch, okay? Look, I might not look it now, but you may have vital information. Okay, I'm gonna say, you're a cool dude. Let's just bury the hatch, okay? Cool what? What the fuck <laughs> is wrong with you? <laughs> I think you broke.
broke his brain when you fucked him up, Kuno. <laughs> you better come up with a way to make, make Kuno forget of Kuno. you tried to fucking hit him, pig Oh my god. A material offering is implied. He wants stuff. Only stuff can make it okay again. I don't have anything. Please don't waste time on nonsense. <laughs> the lieutenant does not approve of this at all. But I don't didn't... listen to the blind fuck, Piggo. You're doing the right thing here, trying to get Kuno to like you again. It's snowing now. Ah. You can pay tribute to drugs or cigarettes or some wheels. Kuno could use some wheels. Motorized carriage shit. Whatever. Then. What are you doing? This <laughs> dark eyes peer into yours. I need to make truth with Kuro. <laughs> I need to offer him something. No, you really, really don't. <laughs> that is a twelve-year-old boy. His opinion of you doesn't matter. Oh my god! You don't fucking matter, book him. Uh, book him. I'm still going to mark it down. So <laughs> to do. but, but why? You're turning this into a huge thing. <laughs> Oh my god. Punching someone always ends up being someone's bitch. Do you know how much? It's a very hard for you to let things go. It's just, no, it doesn't matter. I just need to make it. <laughs> somebody... You're totally unraveling, officer. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Don't worry. I got this. Oh, <laughs> well, as soon as I get this big cool situation <laughs> off my back. Oh. Don't worry about a lieutenant. <laughs> well, lieutenant, let's get back to work, Kim. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this fucking bitch over here. Uh, my face hurts. Oh, there was a thought. The logo is misspelled, okay. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come she, to snuff my shit out, I think. <laughs> she hisses. To me, this this character is the little girl from Moomins. Mm. Same voice, mm. same attitude. Just a different world. Take one step closer. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pig's come to take me in. <laughs> I just want to ask you some questions. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? <laughs> Listen, child, the smell is so bad that I threw up, and I was wondering. <laughs> what are those strange words you use, girl? Hey, kid. Child, converse with me. <laughs> <laughs> child, converse with me. Murder was the case, was the case they gave me. She has almost vanished behind the fence. Only the top of... So she wants to be suspected of this murder. Like, this is entertaining to her, I feel uh. like. She's fucking with us. Yeah. As though, like, she's a real suspect. I'll die before I squeal, pig. Listen, child. The smell is so bad that I threw up and I was wondering. Stay away from me, pig! You don't want to see what happens when you corner me. I'll die before I squeal, pig. What's that strange word you use, girl? I come from the woods, good Davidu. You don't want to go there with me. You don't want to see what I've seen. Don't be traumatizing here. Get the fuck out of here. I'll die before I squeal, pig. You there behind the fence. You don't want to fuck with me. I got my hands bloody. I'm not here, pig. You're not seeing this. You can still see the top of her hat from behind. <laughs> Good perception. Mm. I'll die before I squeal. Hey, kid. What's this kid shit? Fucking mind games. I'd rather die than squeal. Get the fuck out of here, face. You got done. Talk to me. All right, that's all we can say to her. All right, we have to oh. end. That was a good laugh. We're Kumo's yeah. bitch now. <laughs> I think I have to stop putting points into authority. <laughs> I think I've decided my role play here. Yeah. This is too much fun. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely not playing as myself anymore. It's just so good. <laughs> I'm playing more as like uh, the dad from from uh, fucking 
uh, Rick and Marty, mm. Jerry. Mm. <laughs> Kuno is king. You're right. <laughs> Can't help me out. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. I may need an ambulance. <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> Alright. That's the trumpet they think is loud. I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But you can still hear us over it, so that's all that matters. It's the game balance, it's their choice. Phew. Oh. Holy crap. That was good shit. Mm hmm. It works. You'd like to be authoritative. <laughs> That's just too much comedy and not being authoritative. Yeah. Oh my god. What a great game. The writing is just like a perfect mix of serious and comedy in order to keep you like... If you if you went too far, comedy is just like, you know, a whole big farce like or whatever. But like with the seriousness script sprinkled in it seems so extra inappropriate yes. that all this is happening yeah it is quite the game <laughs> holy yeah. shit so you guys could play like did you guys ever play how many of you guys played pathetic <laughs> how many of you guys played the sorry cop so much depression yeah Good um Lord. one of you we know played hardcore authoritative according to your report mm, there mm -hmm. um i was a very sorry cop <laughs> So, because Superstar Angry Cop. I played uh, Sorry, they gave me the ability to think about being sorry. Sorry, when he said that they had identified our chorotype. I don't even know that word. Is that a real psychological term? I didn't know that. But, uh, are you about to go do your personality quiz again? Oh, I would like to It's actually. been two years. Uh, first run it inadvertently, I was a sorry cop until it gave me the same message as you and I shrugged it off. Mm. I was the copo type. A pun. I managed to get him to pull himself together there. So, so is like sorry cop is like the path of least resistance, I'm assuming. I am currently a pathetic intellectual wet blanket. Uh huh. I, uh,. <laughs> nearly every person with a minor problem I cause. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he feels like a sorry cop. Uh, when he's sober, that's yeah. another question. Can we get drunk? And I don't want to know the answer. It's like... <laughs> but what I do want to know, based on the awards it's won, I'm going to assume it has a vast variety in the ways you can play. Yeah. It must, like, there must be s super different ways to go through this. Uh, we were talking about the 16 personality test. What was yours? What's yours called? The diplomat or the negotiator? Not the you're diplomat. The, you're the diplomat? Or, like, you're close no. to the diplomat, but Dif you're not. Dif you're something Dif else. Dif we have it in my email. You actually got it. Defender. The Defender. Yes. If only you were stronger. No, I'm perfect. <laughs> it's a Defender. Um, I mean, yeah, so, like, you know, on that topic, you guys should take that quiz. It's not like a like all those bullshit personality quizzes out there. They do have a product to sell at the end, but they're super, like, low-key about offering it. It's like... Yeah. Once you get your personality done, they're like, we have, like, this is a real thing that's been studied and, like, lots of people this put work into. This was a book that my mom bought whenever we were kids. Like, I was probably 12 or 13 the first time I took it. And we had to, like, read through this whole book. It's an old concept based yeah. on a huge body of work. And then there's a website called 16 Personalities that basically just kind of, like, boiled it down and made it easy to kind of approach it and check it out. Mediator. I think I go back and forth between Mediator and Defender. Mm -hmm. I think those are the two I kind of switch between every few years. I'm pretty staunchly in the Debater. Are you going to redo yours? It's probably yeah, I'll, I'll still be the same though. Yeah. 
the ideas, man. Is it super loud? It's very weird because here well, in the if studio. You just walk up, then. Here in the studio, it hasn't like it's. It seems relatively the same, and usually our studio audio is very similar yeah. to what's on stream with the way I have it set up. But like, like that that audio there didn't sound louder than any of the dialogue. Something about the timbers of yeah. I guess the horns that come through in a weird way on the stream. It's just that area. That's very odd. Mm -hmm. Anyways, wow. I mean, it is a bit louder for us in the studio. But, <clears throat> but what did they an uh, 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 answer to my question? Like, is it, is it, like, do you guys feel like the the ways to play through is like incredibly different? Like, well, Raddy was saying almost every conversation we've gone through has been completely different outcomes for Raddy. And has that meant new conversations completely as well, or completely different? paths or just the outcomes have been different for and not the actual way of getting there kuno knows how to fucking throw he says fucking hate that kid yeah god damn it. just gotta get over this being kuno's bitch thing <laughs> <laughs> very different and as you were starting to see your skills would complement and argue with one another New paths, new conversations. And the girl upstairs finds us entertaining how pathetic we are. <laughs> I said, I want to have fuck time with you. Goddamn right you did. <laughs> what kind of a cop are you? <laughs> uh, new paths, new conversations, different endings, different events, new story <sighs> elements. Holy shit. This is so incredible. It's incredible. It's how games should be made. It's like, everybody's, yeah. It's, I think the problem with this type of game design, though, is a lot of AAAs don't accept it because a lot of gamers reject it. Like, when you play a Fallout and playing a certain way, like going down a certain path, locks out quests and pat and plot lines it angers people people mm. don't they they just won't have it they'll be like no i should be able to do everything in one playthrough they get really pissed when yeah. you lock out a certain thing by doing a certain thing and it's weird cuz gamers don't seem to want to like game they would want to just like completionist stuff and i feel like all the triple a's kind of like adhere to that they know that's what like the majority of gamers want yeah. And so they make sure to make it always possible to do everything without locking out anything. I mean, I've probably been guilty of it in the past. I've probably gotten, like, a little bit curmudgeonly when I'm like, oh, by doing that I locked out this? Well, fuck. Like, I've probably done that. Because sometimes, like, you do. You don't want to play it twice and you just want to see everything that you paid for or whatever. But, like, you know, I love this. I mean, I feel like you can't divide this. Would we still be interested in it if it wasn't for the humor? Like, the humor is so yeah, that's intrinsic. The thing. Could we do multiple playthroughs? Could we enjoy it if we aren't Pathetic Cup? Would it be enjoyable? Maybe Superstar Cup could be fun. Being super overconfident and ridiculous. I think it would still have humor to it, though. Oh, do you think? Do you think... Be, what's the authoritative, super hard-ass cop? Like, has that got humor in it still? Like, I don't feel like it... Could they, could they find a different way yeah. to still... Could they make your di internal dialogue be funny in reaction to your authoritativeness? Or would it just, like, kind of match you in being a hard, hard-nosed, super hardcore noir playthrough? Can you play it like that? Can you play yeah. a hardcore noir playthrough? Because, like, these kids, I guess they're Like, not if you funny, put tons of points shits. into intimidation and, like, right. both authoritative and uh, physically intimidating. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's funny because you bully people and then are told that RCM doesn't have enough authority to matter. Well, if you're authoritative and, and, and physically, like, presence enough, you shouldn't, shouldn't matter how much authority the cops have. You should still be able to intimidate people. The writing is super good all around in terms yeah, of Yeah, it's incredible. And it's what was... Over the top. Earlier, I, I was thinking, I think, like, one of the main writers was a woman, which is, like, extra cool to me, because, like, I don't know, it's got, like, the, sort of that cynical edge that you expect from, like, a room full of dudes. Mm. Kind of, like, cum stained pants and stuff. Mm. You know, like... Mm. And I just find it more impressive that 
one of the leads was, a, and yeah. assuming that the one who like why would she accept the award if she wasn't a major intrinsic right. part? I just want to see. Cause they haven't given me the answer. Um, and then I love the in like the sort of like. like how it keeps on referencing disco like that's going to have something to do with this maybe we are a superstar why do we have these like our shoes don't make sense for a cup and yeah. stuff like that like yeah. what is going on here maybe we it is mistaken identity maybe he's shown up and we are just playing the role of the cup not knowing that we are one but then why wouldn't people react to us being like you know why are you pretending to be a cop right now or something like in the game well it's interesting it only only credit one writer on here huh that doesn't that doesn't seem right to me. How could yeah. one person write this? <clears throat> it is amazing that this is the first game for the studio. God, they won a lot of awards. Incredible. I don't know if I'm sad or happy that I had to wait to play it because they didn't put it out on console right away. When was it released? Like back in early last year, I think. Um, no, 2019. October 2019, and I remember it started, like, people started raving about it and telling me, because it kind of flew under the radar for a bit, I think, and then people started telling me, like, yeah. you got to play this game, Yeah. Uh, and saying it was amazing, and then, uh, yeah, there's a thought that you could get fairly early Feminist Agenda, which has incredible edgy humor. Huh. I saw that in the list. Kim basically tells you, you can't arrest people for that. Um, so, okay, so it didn't used to all be voiced. So the final cut added a bunch of extra voice acting. There wasn't 100% voice acting before. It didn't have as much voice acting in the original version, so it's nice to have the voice acted lines. I don't have to feel bad for the actors, they got paid. Mm. Wow, it's great to see that they improved it even more, because are they even charging for the final cut? Like, is it a free upgrade? Or is it DLC for people who previously owned the game? Because we automatically got the final cut by buying it on console. 10% voiced before, where now wow. it's about 90% voiced. Oh, I appreciate it, because yes. like, I don't think I would enjoy myself as much if I had to voice act all the time. I like voice yeah. acting on the show, but it's hard. It adds a lot it to it. It's a, lot a of free upgrade. That's amazing. Damn. That's incredible. So the company goes out, makes its first game, puts it out there, wins tons of awards, gets tons of sales, presumably, from the tons of awards and the word of mouth, and decides to improve their already award-winning game when they didn't need to. Yeah. It's also impressive to note that they won the awards without the voice acting. Because that's yeah. immediately what, like, kind of, like, on first impression sets it apart. It's like, wow, they voice acted all this and yeah. it keeps going. Wow. And it's and really And it's really well charming, really yeah. well done. <clears throat> Kuna had a horrid, horrid, trill voice before, <laughs> and had some of the most voice lines. So oh my god! Him. They didn't like him or something. Huh? Well, it was sort of like the first Baldur's Gate, where sort of like Baldur's Gate, where you you get maybe the first line or two. Ah. Uh, so you Speaking have which, kind of like a flavor of what their voice was supposed which to Which is good, like. too. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Sometimes when I'm, I'm doing the voice acting, though, I don't want the interference. Right. It's like, don't tell me how they sound, because right. I'm not going to do that voice. Anyways, uh, speaking of which, Baldur's Gate 3 is coming. I, th I know Rad he has been playing it. I saw him post some stuff on Twitter. How far is that away? Because that's looking good. That's looking like old Bioware games. Mm. That's looking like what Bioware did before they went to shit. Well, basically Andromeda, Bioware. Um, and Pair Girls. Is that coming soon? It's so weird to see a, a sort of 2.5A title being early accessed like this for so long, too. No idea when the full game is. Oh, wait. I'm sure it'll be great. It's looking good. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It was a lot of fun. It was really refreshing to play something well written for a change. <laughs> I mean, so we play some well-written stuff, but... Mm. But this really this tickled really our fancy. This is really well-written. I love it. It's irreverent. It's cynical. 
it's gritty, edgy yeah. at the same time, but also, you know, takes itself just seriously enough to not just be a full out screwball comedy or anything. Right. So well done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome. This is Disco Elysium. Bye bye.